na na na. Oh, I'll turn off that music actually. And you know what we can listen to instead? Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, that's the wrong camera. Always get that wrong. Always get it the wrong way around. You know what we can listen to instead? I just what I was thinking, Grog, I saw you. I saw, you know, um I uh I was seeking that last uh last week. This weekend, last weekend. I was um I don't think we're gonna do anything special for the partner weekend. Or partner weekend. Partner anniversary. But I will be putting up a channel point goal. You know what are those like channel point um You put the channel points in and then you get a get a like that there's a thing afterwards. Um Maybe maybe we'll like maybe I'll get like a uh, maybe we'll eat like a muffin on channel uh, on um I'm getting all my words mixed up. I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> maybe we'll eat a, a eat a muffin on stream or something like a little bit of a cakey. Yeah, a community challenge. That's it. Yeah, we'll do a community challenge uh, for something related to the partnering. You'll know you'll know it when you see it. You know it when you see it. But save up your poor beans. We'll all eat the dog trees. Oh. Does anyone want a dog tree? I got, yeah, I got quite a few. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, bros. Good morning, fourth. Mr. West, fourth. I saw that you were feeling Darth Vader happy this morning. Is there any, um, I was thinking, is it because of Christmas and you can sense your presence? But I decided, I decided to keep that joke to myself and tell you now, rather than writing it in the Discord. Mrs. <laughs> good morning. Camera, good morning. Harbour, good morning. Ian, good morning, Ian. Good morning, Mr. West. <laughs> Mr. West, how's your day going? Mush. Good morning, Charm. It's early, isn't it? Usually, do, do I usually see you beginning your stream? I feel like whenever I see you, it's usually a, usually a little bit more towards the end. It's early. Good morning. Good morning. I oh my god! Could you imagine if the community challenge was I would eat lasagna? No, <laughs> I think it's gonna be something fun. It's gonna be uh, I I've got the thing. So it'll be a bit of a disappointment if the community challenge doesn't. This is that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll have a community challenge, and I will. Um, I'll tell you about guys about it next week. I'll tell you as we're getting getting a bit closer to it. Em, oh my goodness! Em, it's been a while. Em, how are you doing? And give me the the four, the four one, four M one one. Amazon antibiotics. Oh, oh, what spurred the antibiotics? Every, thank you so much for seven months. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Back to the weedies. For the seventh seventh month, we managed to keep you in the dungeon. <laughs> thank you so much. I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. Didn't realize you'd seen that. I, I see things. I might not reply to everything, but I always make sure I check the general. If general's ever lit up, I try to check it. I do miss, I do miss a lot of good stuff, though. I, uh... I wish I like. I wish I would look. I you know I miss a lot of good stuff that I I look back and I'm like oh dang I didn't reply to that and that was posted two weeks ago and now it's far too late for me to reply because that would be weird. Maybe it wouldn't be weird. And I hope you I hope you get better. You got the chest. I hope you feel better and I hope you don't get any uh any other antibiotic related illnesses because I know I always. I always, I always end up with thrush off or I'm on antibiotics, so we don't end up with... <laughs> That's what I always think when anyone tells me they're on antibiotics, I'm like, oh god, I hope they don't get thrush. You know, that's probably not at the forefront of their mind, but it's the forefront of my mind. <gasps> you jo- um, What are you doing? I'd like the 411. <laughs> Is there a doggy here? She's been an absolute fucking slug this morning. She's been an absolute slug. I'm not overly happy with her. 
Hmm? I'm not overly happy with you, am I? Thank you. Um, nom, 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 nom. Do you know why I'm not overly happy with her? Because I, so I have a little trolley here that she is now in the way of me, of me showing. But if you could, if you could shift to the side very slightly, that would be great. You could just go. So I've got a little trolley here. Yeah, so I put, I put my put my magic eight ball in and stuff, um, and I put the old uh, fortune cookie in there yesterday. So after we had the fortune cookie, I put it put it in my trolley. And I slide it under my desk, and there's like about that much clearance, so she can't eat anything or grab anything out of it. And I go do my teeth, and I'm like, Greg, right? If you hear any noises coming from my office, Suzu's done something, go in and check on her. I'm brushing my teeth, and I'm thinking, oh, I hear an odd noise. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's fine. Turns out she had taken my trolley from under my desk that was it was quite firmly in there she'd managed to pull it out and extract the <laughs> extract yesterday's fortune cookie that she was happily eating so i'm not all that happy about her really i'm not i'm not really happy with you Thank you. I say as I give her more treats. <laughs> not happy with you, but I'll feed you. Yeah, I'm not overly happy with her because she's not only she's not only eaten something that she shouldn't have, but she's also um she's also figured out how to pull my trolley out from under my desk, which means that I can't I kind of can't keep anything under there that I don't want her to have, you know. You know, next I'll find her eating my DP. She is, she's, as, when it comes to food, she is very clever. Yeah? I found her once downstairs that she'd managed to, so we keep a barrier up so she can't get behind the kitchen. Um, so I found, sorry, I found that she'd gotten past the barrier. She'd got onto the worktop. She'd taken the packet of muffins and she was working her way to crack open the muffin, uh, the like the muffin plastic. She didn't quite get in there. She, I managed to, um, <laughs> I managed to, you, cause you hear strange noises of, you know, muffins being cracked open. And, like, and I did manage to get some of the fortune cookie back, but it's just, you know, you live and you learn what you can leave where. You learn that learn very quickly. You can't leave open fortune cookies in your office anymore. <laughs> dark. Good morning, Tristan. Good morning as well. She just wants some cereal. Oh, geez, I still remember when she. Had to... So Greg had a cereal on his desk, and it was pushed quite, quite far, and she managed to get her nose, hook the cereal, tip the cereal over. Spill the cereal and then <laughs> slurp up the cereal off his desk. Yeah, I can't be mad at her. She's really... yeah, because like she, I, I, I was, I was angry. I no, Suzu, you know, no, don't do that. Took the fortune cookie away, and then I went to go, uh, go in the bedroom and sat on the bed. So I realized I have a problem. I'm here, I I'm have here. gotten so used to watching shows while browsing the internet or whatever that I am really bad at watching anime. I don't know what's happening because I'm not watching enough to read the subtitles. Help. I love that. I'm really... <laughs> she put the emphasis on the exact right words. And Paul, I didn't, say, I didn't say hello to you. I just... I watched you. I watched you just go... Watched your message just go up. I said hello in my brain but didn't say hello out of my mouth. Morning, Paul. Good morning. I, I, so I can't watch anime while doing anything else. If I have to read the subtitles, I can't, like, I don't have the ability to diverge my pupils. Diverge my pupils and look at them. Look, look, GLaDOS has one thing on her mind, and that's titties. Let's not judge her for it. Let's, <laughs> Chad. Oh, Chad, good morning. Chad. 
Dad, you got your own remote. I know. That exempts me from anything. Oh, thank you. I think you either have to... You'll either have to watch it dubbed, or you'll have to give it your full, full attention and starting One Piece. Like, that's like... How many episodes is that for? So many. I only say hi to Em. I mean, I did, I did miss that you were... <laughs> You are now working as a customer service as a logistics company. I did also watch that one go up and I thought, okay, I'm gonna store that in my brain and get back to that in a minute. And it just it just kept it just kept going and I was like, no, come back. No. Um, are you looking forward to it? Will you be um will it be fairly relaxed? Will you be work from home, work a work in office? Mmm. Is it possible for me to do only one thing? Could you do something that was like... Oh, you know what? I've got a good idea, Paul. Can you position the thing that... So, anime up here. Other thing that you want to do down here. So rather than, from, rather than having to diverge your pupils that way, that, you know, anime's on one screen, you're browsing on the other screen, you only have to, like, flick your eyes up and down, so you can almost, you can take it in, take it in vertically rather than... Maybe. Like, uh, say, I could watch anime and knit at the same time, because I... I can kind of take in what I'm doing on my hands and on the TV. Ooh, it's only a 50 minute drive. Um, luxury. Luxury. It, will it be quite a relaxed office? Like, um, will you be able to, will you be able to watch Netflix while you're there? I'm just trying to keep up a chat and engage with it. So I, I don't, I don't have too much of a problem. The only problem that I have is sometimes I say hello to, or like sometimes I'll say hello to someone in my brain and just not say it out of my mouth and then you know when I'll remember that I didn't say it out of my mouth right in the evening when I'm about to get into bed I'm like oh dang I've got to say hello to drunk I definitely saw it took it in and then just didn't say, like everything that I <laughs> it's like I work on a delay of seven hours <laughs> I'll sit in the bath and I'll be like oh shit Em told me about a new job and I just didn't I took it in but I didn't I have a bit of a, I was talking to Greg about this yesterday actually, I have a bit of trouble, so I say I've got 50% frame for chat, 50% of frame for game, but when the dog comes in, it's really, like, especially when she's being a bit of a slug, <laughs> so the only way I can really describe it, especially when she's being a bit of a slug, um, it's, it's like, I'm like, I don't have enough brain space for you to be a slug right now, I don't know, I... That I don't know where to take that little chunk of my brain from. Do I take it away from the game? Do I take it away from chat? I've got this like little pizza slice that the dog wants my attention as well. And I just don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't have enough pizza for you to be a slug right now. Hey, Urban. I can't watch something while knitting, but I can listen to the TV and pay attention to that. Oh, what, like audiobook style. <laughs> I thought I answered, I answered my dream. <laughs> I hope it wasn't anything important. Oh my goodness. Hey, drunk and drunk, good morning. I would have sat I would have sat in the, sat in the bath tonight and thought, oh, I spoke about not saying hello to drunk. And that I didn't do it. Oh nuts. Yeah, there is a limit, yeah. I think eventually I'll get more used to it. Cause I mean I used to struggle a little bit more with um uh Pizza cutting my brain from game into chat, so I'm hoping that I'll eventually be able to pizza cut my brain so that I can give a little bit to to slug as well. Oh, it's enough money that I'll be able to move out of student accommodation soon. Oh, student accommodation is shit, Em. I'm so excited for you. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, student accommodation is shit. Is it halls accommodation or is it out of um? Out of university accommodation. Mmm. I can't take my eyes off the knitting needles. I'm a, yeah, yeah. I see. I see your point. Yeah. 
I, I like how I said I can, I can knit while I watch, but I'm, <laughs> I'll go back at the end and I'll count my stitches and I'll be like, ooh, that's five less than I started with. It's a studio that is in halls. Oh, it's not, I guess that's nicer than, nicer than some, right? I, I, sometimes the out of halls accommodation is worse than the in hall accommodation. What is she looking at? What do you guys think she's looking at? She's looking at something. What are you looking at? <laughs> she's looking at me. <laughs> Attacks refund. Oh no, okay. We're back. We're back. Hello, slug. Hello, slug. I can't take a breath. She's an angel and shan't be questioned. See, it would be nice if she just kind of just sat there with her head on me without any kind of expectation that she's going to get a snack. But it's always, she never really wants me to be patting her head. It's always just here for the snack. It is a good song, isn't it? It is. I swapped it out for my, uh, my usual synthwave stuff. I was like, nah, Mr. Death, it's got to be. No, I don't train it. No, no, she's not a... She's not a racer. Not any not anymore. Not anymore. I did a I did think about maybe signing her up for some kind of agility. I can't make a move. Signing her up for some kind of agility class to keep her um you know, to see if she would enjoy it. But we did uh we did try her on a bit of agility equipment. And <laughs> she's not uh she's not she's not built for it. She's not built for it. She's a good girl. Yeah. Yeah, she's not built for it. Dog is very human, like he loves to sit on the sofa like a human. We don't let her on the sofa just because she, uh, I feel like she would be allowed on the sofa and then would never, never leave. <laughs> Dead greyhounds just need to run like the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking like some agility, like jumping over, um, uh, I, uh, like sometimes they get greyhounds to do, ah, uh, what is it called? <laughs> like jumping, like jumps. Sometimes they get greyhounds to do jumps and it can be quite good for them. Yeah, like, a, like not quite an agility course because not like tunnels or, uh, um, ramps or anything. Just, just jumping, just jumping. Um. So I thought maybe she would she would get something out of that for fun, um, you know, not like not making her do it or anything, or if she if she was gonna get anything out of doing it, or going to some kind of class for fun, uh, yeah, like a like a steeple, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess like steeple, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure she would get anything out of it. She does like running, she does she does some get something out of running. But I'd never want her to do any uh, racing because it's, you know, pretty. It's pretty dangerous for the dogs. <laughs> and she's not very coordinated. Like from when we saw her running, she was not, uh, not, not, not very coordinated. Have halls residents halls of residence changed since I was there? Is there still someone bouncing a ball against the wall next room? Yes, yes, yes to all of that. Fourth, yes, yes. I. Do you know one thing I hated the most about halls? I didn't live in halls. Um, I, I lived at home. Yeah, I lived at home, which was, um, good and it was bad, but I just, the state of the showers, they're so gross. They're so gross. Like, they're so I don't know how anyone uses Hall's showers without first like without wearing shoes they're so gross lucky to have an ensuite i yeah i said if i was ever gonna live in halls i said to my parents i i would have to have an ensuite because that that is how you get verrucas like fuck fuck get, getting stis or whatever at college or at university you just get a cut like the, the verrucas must be horrific mm. 
was hiding under my desk while fireworks was going off. While fireworks were going off. I was playing Team Fortress Classic and a loud bang went off. Oh! And took my mouse with a heart. Oh, what a baby! <laughs> she was like, no more playing. Now you have to cuddle me. There we go. Yeah, it just if anyone was curious, that was the that was the solve for the puzzle. The puzzle was uh, guillotine, and uh, I think I left it for future Badger to be able to watch this lovely F FMV masterpiece. I've already seen this one. Maybe I didn't say it after. A little bit grody, just in case anyone's um. A little bit grody. That's the reaction to whole showers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you open the oh they were so gross. They were so gross. Oh my god. Oh does she open? Does she? She was uh she has done pretty okay when it because obviously it was fireworks night recently. She was a little bit worried. We couldn't take her out during the fireworks or anything. Um, she was a little bit worried, but overall, I'm quite, I'm pretty impressed by how well she did. You know, I thought she would be a lot more jumpy, but she did mostly just kind of sleep through it. Uh, we made sure that there was someone with her in the room with her so that, you know, if she did need somebody, there was somebody there. Um, <laughs> I bundled her up in a blanket and put it over her head. I put it over her ears so it would muffle them maybe a little bit. Stayed in student dorms during the summer when I moved here. The showers and kitchen area were disgusting. Oh, the kitchen is it's all so gross. And they're always, it's never updated. It's never nice. It's always like some kitchen from the early 2000s that's, you know, definitely past its prime. They restricted it to the parks. I kind of, um, I don't know whether I've become a bit, I don't know whether it's, <laughs> whether it's because I'm, <laughs> because I'm old, but I've, I've kind of become one of those people that are like, oh, I don't think, I don't think that, the like, homes should have fireworks. Like, you know, small ones or like sparklers or whatever, but letting off big gunpowder rockets. I'm like, oh, is that really responsible without a fire warden? I feel like it should maybe be restricted to big areas or, you know, uh, like, you know, proper fireworks displays by, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I know schools do fireworks displays and, uh, let me think. Like, big events, like event, um, I just can't think of the word. The word is on the tip of my tongue. Event, um... Like somewhere that you hire out. It's on the tip of, tip of my tongue, but I can't seem to find it. <laughs> but stuff splattered on every surface. Oh, venue! Yeah, like event venues. Yeah, that's the word. Like big venues. And with fire wardens to, you know, to just make it a little bit more responsible rather than, you know, old Jim Bob down the road can buy <laughs> the biggest, biggest barrel of gunpowder and just set it off, you know. You know? Mmm. Yeah, that's true. And I, I have seen, uh, like, fireworks fall on horses and stuff because they're not, you know, they don't... Because where does the thing go? After the firework goes bang, there's a bit that obviously flies down flaming into, <laughs> into somebody's either back garden, somebody's field or whatever, and then it can it can burn, can set fires off. It can, you know, burn animals. I don't know, I just think uh, fireworks are gunshots. 
Oh my god, sounds like a war zone for two weeks before or two weeks after 4th of July. <laughs> Got the whole month clear now, we really. <laughs> She's really love Independence Day. Yeah, same as New Year. But then at the same time, I know I, I don't want to, it's not all negative because if there are fireworks going off that I can see out of my window, I will go and look at them. I <laughs> Because I do visually really like fireworks. I, you know, if somebody's setting them off, I'll sit there and go, oh, wow, so pretty. My favorite ones are the blue ones with the gold kind of after. Love them. But then I, you know, I also think overall, you know, I can, I can watch them if they're there. Because it's not like there's a, you know, I watch them if they're there, but I don't think they should be. Does that make sense? Yeah. My favorite ones are the blue ones. I like. My, uh, because it reminds me, my dad used to always take me when I was younger. There would be a fireworks display, not that close to where we lived, but there would be a big one at a at a venue. Word, at a venue. <laughs> and if you stood outside the fence of the venue. You didn't have to, because you would have to pay to get in, but because fireworks are in the sky, the sky is free to look at. And uh, if you would stand outside the fence of the venue, you could see all of the fireworks going off. So every year my dad would take me to stand outside the fence and watch the fireworks go off. And, um, I don't know, it was always a, always a really nice time of the year because it would be absolutely freezing cold. I would be wearing my big gloves. My mum would set us off, you know, but you'd put on all of my coats, wearing my big gloves, and I'd, you know, we'd waddle off. Yeah. That was always nice. Pearl drainage could still produce a flower. We are gonna, we are gonna be looking at the hints. Drainage could make a flower if it's an anagram. This is why we're looking at the, the hints. Because I, how am I supposed to know that that was an anagram. Drainage could make a flower if it's an anagram. So we're looking for a flower that is, you know, like, um, uh, a flower that could be anagrammed out of drainage. Yeah, <laughs> nine months out of the year. Yeah, yeah, either raining, foggy, Fucking freezing cold. I like how they sparkle drunk. I just I just look at them and I go, oh <laughs> they make my eyes feel nice. I don't know. It's the same reason I like, you know, stars and space that and uh, Christmas lights that oh, I don't know. Hey hi -o. Have a safe drive to work, hi, have a safe drive to work. I hope uh, I hope you've had your morning coffee. I wonder, Stig. I wonder. Yeah, if I was a hitman, <laughs> if I was a hitman, I guess I'd choose Bonfire Night because then, you know, no one's going to say anything about it. Do sparklers. Mm. My, uh, my parents used to do sparklers in the back garden. I always used to manage to. I've got a pair of gloves at my parents that have a little hole in their fingers from where the sparkler went down to. When uh went down too far. So I feel like I know what flower is an anagram of drainage. I I've got it. I I I feel like it begins with A. I am looking this up on an anagram solver. A gardenia. Well, that wasn't the flower that I was thinking. A gardenia. Try starting with the letter G. Okay. All right, let's look for a gardenia. A gardenia is old people flowers? I feel like they are. Is it this one? This one. <laughs> yeah! It stinks in here. Like that mm -hmm. dead raccoon your father found in the basement. <gasps> Say what? Trying to tell me something? What? <laughs> I love he's a new bit FMV. Like just clips, they don't ever make 
make any sense by themselves. It makes the like that dead sounds raccoon. like it got higher from wine. Marijuana? <laughs> Had a Brits view of American Independence Day. Oh, it's just another day of the week, really. I think, um... So, I did see last year, I saw some American decorations in the supermarket. So, but I shouldn't imagine... I shouldn't imagine English people would have actually been buying them, so maybe American expats would be buying them. Maybe English people have started to celebrate 4th of July, kind of like Halloween, it's kind of a bit of a no novelty. It's a bit, a bit of a strange one for us to celebrate, though. Um, yeah, we just kind of... I mean... Personally... I like what, like, you know, I see on social media or whatever, what you, what you funky little Americans are up to on that day. <laughs> you know, it just, I don't know, it just, it's kind of like just a holiday that we don't celebrate. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice seeing the barbecues and the, you know, the nice, uh, nice celebrations that you're having, but it's not anything, um, You know, nothing kind of. It's not like not like Halloween or anything, which I feel like you celebrate more than we do, but we still kind of follow suit and celebrate Halloween. What the fuck is this game? This is an anagram game, Peter. Peter, do you like anagrams? <laughs> How have you been doing? <laughs> oh, what M did you say? Honestly, we don't care about it. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I did. Have you seen the um? Did you see any of the American paraphernalia sold in supermarkets? Em, I saw like some American flag paper plates last year. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we just like to be involved sometimes. Though drunk, I think sometimes uh, yeah. <laughs> we just like a party, right? Any excuse to drink. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't wearing my glasses. Maybe you thought it was the Union Jack. I suck at anagrams. Same Peter. I suck at anagrams as well. That's why I've. That's why you guys have been solving the anagrams for me. Or I used an anagram solver. What wine? Chablis, Fumet, Rose, Burgundy? Burgundy is an anagram of. If you get higher, you rise. If you rise, you can say you rose. Right. So we're looking for a rose, or are we looking for some rosé? More likely to celebrate Australia Day. Oh no, I don't know when Australia Day is. I would, okay, I'm gonna actually take an educated guess for Australia Day. I presume it would be summer, which is winter for us. Australia Day. Is it in February? My my heart is telling Feb me February drunk. <laughs> so once we have found what the anagram or the so it gives us a clue, we solved the clue. And then we have to look for the item that the clue has specified. So it's either rose or rosé. So we're now going around each room to look. Oh, January 26! Oh, I was so close! I was... I was so close. I'm pretty proud of myself with that. I, I'm pretty proud. I judged that it would be during the summer. Wasn't there a painting of wine bottles, was there? Are you just trying to get me go down to the naked lady painting room again, Urban? Da, 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 da. Is this the room that we've just come out of? No, it's not. We will check every room upstairs first before we go. Check the naked lady room. I wanted to turn around, actually. Not... 
<laughs> Sounds like a good place to start. This whole game is grasping at straws. Like, it will be like, oh! The garden's looking a bit wet. And then you know, you'll be like, what the fuck? And then the next hint will be... What do you water a garden with? A hose! And then the next hint will be... Hose sounds like rose. Like, okay, okay, right, rose. Then the next hint will be, rose is a flower. Right? Next hint, flower is an anagram of... And I was supposed to get all of that from the first... <laughs> rose before this. The first hint... That was a wet garden or whatever I said it was. I'm, I'm tired of your whining. Hose is an anagram of shoe. Honestly, that's the... I'm not even... It sounds like an exaggerating, but I promise that is what the hints are like. Hello. Okay, there's that lady. We have one more room to go up. Uh, go in this side. I've never had port. I haven't had port since I th threw it up at a Christmas party. I can't even. I can't even recall what it tasted like. Is port. Is port nice? That. <laughs> Child Detective Show X Menza. Did you ever play the Mary Kate and Ashley games? Because they were, they were bangers. They were absolute bangers. Right, we're down here. Good. Let's try all the rooms down here. A bit burny. Do you think I'd like it if I... Uh, I don't like red wine. I find red, red wine a little bit important. Red wine, whenever I drink, it makes me... <sighs> it's, just got a, it's just got a taste that goes... <sighs> I thought maybe that was a bottle of something. Okay, we've got fruit. We've got a collar in the caterpillar cake. <laughs> I think someone said it was a spine, actually. But to me, it looks like a collar Colin the caterpillar cake. Oh, I don't like red wine, and I don't think it tastes anything like it. I'm glad that you don't. I just, I'm glad that you don't like red wine. No, everybody seems to like it. I don't think I've met another person that doesn't like red wine. Insanely sweet. The first sip is like getting kicked. In. Oh, I might like that. I might like that. I I've got a bit more of a sweet tooth when it comes to. Wanna that. get high? Go to the attic, buddy boy. Oh. Okay, it's in the it's in the attic. Right, thank you, Stealth. That was unusually helpful. Go to the attic, buddy boy. Mm. Oh, mead. I've only I don't know if any of that mead. My sister had some mead, and I can't remember if I tried it or not. Once it leaves the table, it can't be put down until it's empty, and you can't leave the table. Can you swap it with other people, Wem? Da da dee da 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 da. Oh, I want to check the map. Uh. Honey, Jack Daniels over mead. I'm not a big fan of Jack Daniels. It's. I drank it a lot at university. Thirsty? Yeah. And Greg's parents um, used to really like Jack Daniels. So I feel like I've, I feel like it's one of those alcohols that I've had too much. And I just... <laughs> I just don't like it anymore! <laughs> I'm a bit more of a rum fan than a whiskey fan when it comes to um, spirits, though. Mmm. 
Mead has to be drunk and warm. Ooh, I, don't, I definitely haven't ever had it warm. Tea? What kind of tea, though, Peter? Like a... Play it again, Carl. Like an English breakfast tea, an Earl Grey tea, fruit tea. Just a, just a normal black tea, with milk or without. Whatever's the cheapest on the shelf. Ah, oh, Peter, you can't be drinking Typhoo, though. <laughs> Peter, Typhoo is usually the cheapest on the shelf, and it really is. <laughs> is it Too blood? much of a strain on your lip. Brain. I thought maybe that might be he might say that that was wine I was uh, looking at some tea actually and uh, I saw that it was 30 pounds oh we haven't been up here I saw it was 30 pounds for 100 bags and I was like oh no <laughs> Never, because we got a free sample, so I did a loose tea order, which was, um, it was, it was quite cheap, the loose tea. I did it for a couple of presents for Christmas. And, uh, we got a free sample of the English breakfast tea bags, and I was like, wow, this English breakfast is really nice when we made it. So I was like, oh, I'll go see how much, how much that box of tea would be. 30 pounds for a hundred bags! I was like, no, thank you. No, thank you. Well, considering you can usually get like 100 bags, 120 for maybe three pounds, maybe four pounds usually. Though it was 10, 10 times. Ah, oh, um, you pass it around the table until it's finished. So could you take little tiny sips? Would anyone have noticed? He told me it might be in the attic. Do you think he tricked me? It's your turn, sport! <laughs> so many what? <laughs> if I can ever get to Japan. Oh, yeah! A traditional tea ceremony. Oh, that would be so... That would be so much, like... Oh, no, that would be great. That would be great. Do you have any plans to go, Evan? Or is it kind of a... a, a dream? All natural. Is yours a tea for every task? All natural is yours. Discover the art of tea. Discover twinnings every day. Twinnings, twinnings gets you back day. to you. There's more to tea with twinnings. Oh. There's more to life with twinnings. There is something different. Try twinnings <laughs> since 1706. I do drink twinnings. I do. Twinnings is my tea of choice. Uh... <laughs> I am not, I'm not a Yorkshire brew kind of, uh, kind of girl. I just, I don't know, there's a lot of hype behind Yorkshire gold. And it just, uh, for me, it doesn't live up to the hype. It's, you know, it's fine. I think we've actually got Yorkshire at the moment because we ran out of Twinings. But I just, Twinings has my heart. I do quite like the PG tips. Ooh. Is today a good day to die, Carl? I like, I like the PG tips caffeine free. There's... Like I'm not, I I like the caffeine in tea, so I'm not drinking it because it's caffeine free. I just prefer the caffeine free. <laughs> My parents bought me for Christmas, Peter. My parents bought me a pack. I think it was like ah, oh, I think it was between five and ten boxes of Twining's tea for Christmas and I've been <laughs> drinking them ever since. Uh, Twining's is not the cheapest brand. It's not the most expensive, I would argue. Um, it's not the most expensive. But it's not definitely not the cheapest either. You gotta wait for it to be on offer. Is Twining's the eager thighs of tea? It's classy tea. It's classy tea. <laughs> Kallax, thank you. Kallax, how has your Tuesday treated you? 
Yorkshire tea is currently what's in my cupboard. We got matching tea at the moment, Peter. The matching. Yeah, we ran, we ran out of twinings. We had to get Yorkshire. Nothing against Yorkshire. Yorkshire's fine. It's fine. This doesn't tickle my taste buds quite as much as twinings. <laughs> tea twins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we do. You don't drink tea. Do you not like it, Emily? You just don't drink it. Oh, you have a lunch. Oh, oh good luck, Alex. Good luck. Yeah, that does sound like a nice day. Do you have anything planned for after the lunch day? Are you going to order a tea as well? Why drink tea when there's Pepsi? <laughs> We've got book club. What are you reading at the moment? I don't like fizzy drinks. I will I will drink a fizzy lemon. But uh other, you know you you see me on stream sometimes with a can of fizzy lemon. Mist. Okay. I I'll uh I got to give you guys the 411. I'm a little bit stuck. I'm American, but I also don't like tea. It's because you threw all your good tea in the harbor. <laughs> the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Oh, the book that made me wistful. I don't think I've... What, um, what year is it? An Apple Tango. Ooh. I don't think I've had Apple Tango since I was like... Since I was very young. <laughs> this takes me. I don't know the answer to this puzzle. I will take uh, I will take suggestions on this one if uh, if anybody does know the answer to the puzzle. I am now opening the door to to some suggestions or uh, pointing me in the correct direction. So we've got sounds like it got higher from wine. What wine? Shabis fume for me. Rosé or burgundy? If you get higher, you rise. If you rise, you can say you rose. Sounds like that's the, those are the clues. The garden is wet. <laughs> Hose sounds like rose. Mmm. Yeah, I think I'd struggle with a book club as well. I think I'd feel a lot of. Uh, I think I'd feel a lot of pressure as well. I think it would give me anxiety. <laughs> I think I'd get anxious. I don't see anything here that is either Rose or... Don't mind, don't mind Bill, he's just having a bean bath. I was part of... I was like part of a book club. I feel like I did do a book club at one point. Rose is a wine. <laughs> is a wine. So I've been, I've been looking for wine or flour. A British breakfast bar. Oh, I see wine. I see wine. I look like I would be chairman of a book club. There must be a better way to find yeah. things. Uh, Ouija boards, divining Can't rods, get in the door room currently. Fortune cookies. Can I get it right? No. The ladies I work with have a book club and they told me it's an outright excuse to drink. Oh, we collectively pick slash vote the books for the year. Oh, you can easily jump out if there's something you don't want to read. Oh, I like that. So there's kind of no pressure to read it if you don't want to. But it gives you... It lets you talk about... Like, it, it gives you people to talk about the book that you've just read. Have I ever had ice wine? I haven't. I do like white wine. <laughs> I mean, do I like white? Yeah, I do like white wine. I still remember our friends gave us a, a, a bottle of white wine. I have no idea what white wine it was. But I really enjoyed that. Saw is an anagram of rose. And you know where you get sores? On your bum. And you know where there's a lot of bums? Naked lady room. Do I like sherry? I... I've only had sherry in a trifle. I, think I ate anywhere. a shepherd's pie last night. They weren't very happy with me. 
Otter, thank you so much. Otter! I have a dead plant with more intuition. Okay. Otter, what are you doing on this fine Tuesday? Ooh. Ooh. Bad move. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the original staff house from the seventh guest. Oh, so there's an anagram of Rose. So maybe, like, this lady's made from an ore. She's made of uh, she's made of stone. I don't know how we make this any easier. Oh, that's pretty cool. They harvest the grapes later, so they f ice forms inside the grapes, pushes the sugary juices towards the skins, makes it a very sweet wine. Oh! Oh, is that wine? <laughs> do they do white? White wine in that form. Why is he laughing at me? This is really rude. This is knocking my confidence, Staff. <laughs> staff, this is really... That that was really knocking my confidence. I would love a clue of location, M. I would take that with both hands. See, that's the original image of Staff. A bed... A bedroom. Okay, so we're in the wrong place. <laughs> Unless someone's sleeping here, we're definitely in the wrong place. A bedroom. So it's definitely upstairs. I'm not a big drinker in general, though. I um, I have my... <laughs> I, get, I had a bottle of Kraken gifted to me for Christmas. I'm pretty sure I'm still trying to get through it. I'm still trying to get through it. Meow. Meow. I like how smoothly we turn around. Oh, a cider drinker. Have you, um... Have you got a favorite cider? Sounds like it's going to get salacious. There is a naked lady in one of the bedrooms. Not a, a painting of one. Not an actual naked lady. Badi badi bap. Uh -huh. You're Rose? getting closer. I'm getting closer. Not. Oh, okay. 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 Cool. 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 This? Give up yet? Imagine if M's just completely tricked me. Aha! Uh -huh. No. Uh -uh. This? No. Work with me here, sport. <laughs> so the room VR is a little bit. Oh, I've seen bird drop. I thought maybe that might have been a wine stain. <laughs> <laughs> Click on everything. <laughs> already there, Emma. I'm already do that. Already there. Okay, there's another salacious picture. Keep at it, Carl. Even a blind pig finds a truffle. Occasionally. It's a little bit. I mean, it's not scary, but it is a it is a horror game. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah! Robin. Whoa. Oh, you like it? Yeah. I hope that you would. We're looking for our I girlfriend. Would. Just for you. Just to be clear. Thanks. We we so, are. Do you think you have a role for me in now your new flirting. play? With this lady. Am I right for the part? <laughs> well, geez, I, I don't know. I... I'd be very grateful. Because <laughs> she's very, very handsy. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like me? You don't want me in your play? <laughs> Listen, it's not that I don't want you in my play. I know I'm right for the part. It's, it is pretty salacious, you're right. I could give you. Um, you know, can you just tell me where uh, Robin is? Who's Robin? What do you want with her? What's wrong with me? Please, take me out of here. Please, take me with you. Before, before. What is he doing? It's too late. I've been.
<laughs> Vinny, happy Wednesday. It's Tuesday. Feels like Wednesday because we're playing retro. Give them all BAFTAs. What kind of jewelry is angrier? A ring, because it sits on the knuckles. And what do you give someone when you're angry? A knuckle sandwich. Yeah, the horror is in the train puzzles. Honestly, the horror is the puzzles. Let me give you guys a bit of a background about what we are, what we're doing in this house. So this house is the, is Stout's house from Seventh Guest. We had a girlfriend and we basically told our girlfriend that she slept with us to get her current job. So we accused, we said that she wouldn't have gotten her, she didn't deserve her current job and she only got it because she slept with us. So our girlfriend, rightfully so, went, hey, you're a bit of a dick. And then, then she left. <laughs> then she left, obviously. And our girlfriend is an investigative reporter for some kind of supernatural, uh, we do some kind of supernatural TV show. And she decided to investigate Stauff's house. So she gave us Stauff's mansion and she has gotten lost investigating this. And we decided we've come to come to find her because we feel we don't seem to feel particularly bad about our actions. We don't think what we did was wrong. I think it's actually being painted that she's in the wrong for even coming here. But we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. So we're here to find her. While uh, flirting with every woman in in you know within five miles. We're worse than Gabriel might. Yeah, it's like a most haunted kind of thing. And she's gotten lost and probably trapped by Stauff and uh, we're trying to get her out. Angrier is the jewelry. Ah, I bet that's an anagram. That screams anagram, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Angrier. Earring? Earring. Are you feeling earring? I'm feeling earring. I'm feeling airing. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. I wish we could play as her and find our way out as her. I think that would be pretty fun. Oh, what, like a um, crucifix? I, uh... <laughs> I looked up an anagram. So <laughs> that be... <laughs> I, to be fair... The anagram Solva didn't immediately give me earring. It gave me earring as an option. <laughs> now I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell Fibs to you guys. I did look it up an anagram, and it did give me earring as an option. It gave me other other ones. Pumpkins. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's a jewelry box somewhere. What I was looking for. I have a feeling that the earring would be in a jewelry box. Oh my goodness. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Ba da da. I <laughs> shake it to the core. So I was. <laughs> I didn't feel too bad about that one. About cheating on that one because, uh. I typed it in and earring was uh, not the first option and it doesn't seem like it's an entire anagram of it. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna stop digging myself a hole. I cheated, I cheated. I can't lie to you guys, I cheated. I, I ate pumpkins, I saw the pumpkins and I just started eating. Can you imagine how long we would be here for though? If I actually just did all of the anagrams, if I sat, I was like, no, no. <laughs> No hints from you guys. I think this is the bathroom. I was like, no hints from you guys. I'm gonna do this all by myself. We're just gonna sit and solve anagrams. Is bad as mum disappointed in she? <laughs> I don't think that's the main reason why my mum's disappointed in me, but it's decidedly so. It's just. <laughs> We won't tell her, no, you guys have to, have to keep it quiet, alright? 
Oh, okay. I do have something you guys will feel proud of me for. I'm, I'm trying to regain a moral points here. I'm trying to regain a bit of moral high ground. You know, yesterday we played Hitman and I got a little bit salty because the game bugged. And I said, oh, yeah, that, that was that was what you were thinking, Peter. Yep. <laughs> right, front and center, old piss. And I just went back in the room and I was like, oh. right. I forget that we turn around when we leave. Um, and I was like, oh, guys, don't worry. I will go back and do this Hitman mission. And... Uh, when we come back to it next week, the, the, or when we come back to it on Friday, the mission will be done and we'll kind of start off where we left off before the bug. I did it! Last night, I sat down and I I, I did it. I, I did it. I didn't put it off. I didn't forget to do it. We didn't come back on Friday and me go, oh, sorry guys, I, I actually forgot. <laughs> I forgot to fix the... I did it! I did it and uh, no bugs. So what I had to do is I had to go and kill Hush first and get, then kill the lady afterwards. And I've left it exactly where we were had the bug not happened. Uh, except we're not in Hush's room, we're in the uh, in the facility. But don't say that, no, 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 the save will be fine, we'll be good. Don't save get now. angry, Carl. Go yeah? mad. Oh, the bomber man, how you doing? Welcome into the stream. Was it not? That? It's an it's, anagram. Uh, it's an anagram? Not pearls, but an earring. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've just... <sighs> Wrong earring. Yeah, I was very salty. So I like janky games. I like it when a game is a little bit broken, because it's funny, right? Oh! Yeah. Now, if we only had a matching ear... Yeah. Oh! Ha-ha! How convenient he had one he made earlier! Great. Here's the matching ear that I made earlier. Great. But I get frustrated when games are broken in a non-fun way. You might hear a well-mannered cockney with a 60s hairstyle. <laughs> cockney sounds like cock. <laughs> well-mannered is to behave. And behave is an anagram? The sound in cockney makes a difference. Try it. Beehive. Beehive. It's a beehive. I know exactly. That's upstairs in the attic. I know. I know where it is. Oh my god! It's like dad joke simulator. Dad jokes were also anagrams as well. Yes, I do. I will have. I do have to say that I did use the newspaper less. I didn't. I didn't actually find the newspaper. I had to play back through it. I uh, boofed everybody with a cowboy statue, which I think was nice. I got a split second before me. It's honestly, I only got it because the, I've already tried to click on the beehive. So I registered that it was an item. I don't think I would have gotten it otherwise. Yeah! Oh, you are shitting me. Oh, oh my god, it's this. Okay, it's this shit again. I like the noises though. Kind of, kind of ASMR, -y, right? Oh no. I quite like this. Sounds 
better than the other game as well. So they had they had a they had one almost identical in the to the seventh guest. I don't think we'll get it first time, but I mean, not you know, not to be negative, but. My brain's not quite in the game yet, so... Also, I think I'm doing an absolute fucking awful job at this. You know what, I'm gonna let him... Oh god, I really fucking this up! <laughs> then I think he'll go there, yeah. The rule set is that you can jump over one, but it means you jump, and you can slide over to the next, uh, the next honeycomb. You like this? Uh, but sliding means that you keep your place, so you kind of expand your area of influence, whereas jumping means you lose the original place that you jump from. And as you move, you take the other color, other colored spaces as you move around. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense, maybe. I think, I know you guys are probably gonna tell me, oh. Give me the, give me the lower one. Huh? I saw that. She was trying to pull my trolley out again. What a rude lady. For some reason I'm not allowed to touch any of these. This one is the only one I'm allowed to touch. Makes no sense. Okay. That may have been silly. I hear, I hear you all shouting, hey Badge, why would you do that? And to that I would say, I uh, very slightly miscalculated there. I mean, a bit of a critical area, but it's fine, it's fine. Because we just do this, and wow, all of a sudden, look at all of that. This is going great. This is going exactly as I would have liked it to. Just as I had planned it. I'm going to try something. Go over here. Okay. He fell for my trap. He activated my trap card. Yes. Oh no. This trap's going great. It's like a bear stuck in some honey. I thought he I thought he'd move here, not down there. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I think this is Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. And then he's gonna go. Not where I expected. But thought he'd go here.
Okay, I'm gonna try something. Go here. No, because then he's just gonna go there. Badger, why would you do that? Why did I... Stout's gonna tell me that there's been some inbreeding in my family again, isn't he? It's his favourite insult. He asks if my parents were siblings. He's just gonna go up there? Oh, he goes there. I feel like he's always reacting to my moves. And I'm not reacting to his. So he's just gonna go from where I left. I feel like he's trying to lure me into this corner. I'm not gonna be fooled. I'm not gonna do it. Oh no. Okay, right. <laughs> not going to be fooled! No, I have a choice. charm to it. Yeah, lots of, lots of charm. I think he's one, I'm not sure. Couldn't but I think... solve it. Oh my. Oh my. I think he has the benefit of going second. Because that means that he can always react to what I've Ooh. Rug! Rug, thank you so much for giving us some to Peter. Peter! <laughs> Welcome back to the Weenies, Peter! Back to the Weenies! And Rushla! Thank you so much for the raid! Rushla! Oh my god, how are you enjoying? How are you enjoying? How are you enjoying your Yakuza Kiwami too? Rush, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. You've come in at just the perfect time for ASMR Honey Puzzle. Oh, it fucked up. It's fine. It's fine. I don't think it's fine. <laughs> I fucked up. I think we actually just... Oh, nuts. A perfect storm. Oh, you just finished it! <gasps> How are you feeling? How are you feeling about it? How did the ending... Was it what you wanted? Or are you disappointed by the ending? It does kind of sound like the purring of a cat. You're right. I I quite like the sound. <laughs> I'm gonna go here, and I feel like it will. I go here. 
I knew he'd do that. But I still feel like I made the right decision. And then I think he'll go there. Yeah. Because we want to take the corners. I wanted to go in this one. Literally jumped out of my seat. I'm trying to think of what happened in the second one. I'm pretty sure I definitely played the second. Are you going to be playing the third one now? What happened at the end of the, th the second one? Remind me what happened in the end of the second one, actually. Well, how are you doing on this bright, 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 nice, bright, nice, bright, nice Tuesday morning? Oh, yeah, it's the one with Nishki. The okay, I had a. F I don't know why I thought. Oh, that's the first one. Yeah. I remember. I remember. Yeah. I like how he didn't wait for anyone to get out of the building before he set that bomb off. He was just <laughs> like, you're on your own, fuckers. <laughs> Did I make a mistake? No, I didn't make a mistake. I bamboozled. Maybe I'm thinking the first one with the bomb. They do, yeah, they do have a lot of bombs in them, you're right. I think we go here. Maybe that was an error. Because when you jump, you sacrifice a position, so I don't know whether... No, I think, I overall, I came out on top of that one. Yeah. Oh, you finished Ghost of Tsushima and Yakuza 2, so new games. Oh, What are you going to be playing next week? What do you got planned? Yeah, I'm like an AI, I'm forever learning. This. Okay. That's. I was waiting for him to do that. Yeah. Yeah, we're not even. Oh, nuts! I just don't know how he always gets one over on me. I feel like no matter what, I'm always in a weak position. Always. I don't know what it is. Always, always. I'm always in like a, a shitty position. I was really hoping I could kind of wangle myself out here. Now he's gonna go there. Takes two. Will this be the first time you play Lost of Us? Um, Lost of Us 2. Get over here. I think that's the only... The only good move. Like, I get two and then he just takes two away from me. I think this is the right move. It does leave me open. But I came out with net four. And he got four as well. So I think that was a fair trade. So what I could do... This. he would do that. 
playing into my plans, I swear. He's playing all into my plans. Okay, so he got net two out of that, and I got three, I think. This is all coming up, Badger. And you're gonna be like Badger. Don't jump here. But I think we do jump. Blue Slur, you got some wonderful food. Oh, Rug! Rug, thank you so much for giving us some to JD. JD! Welcome back to the Weenies and good morning, JD. How's your morning going? Thank you very, very much, Rug. Thank you. Oh, Rug, you big sweetie. Thank you very, very much. And Rooster, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you have a wonderful dinner. A lovely rest of your Monday. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I think this is a prudent move. Oh, is it a prudent move or is it a stupid move? I think it might be a stupid move. Because, see, I think I'm going to move here and he's going to just jump over. So I think any move would be stupid here. I think just let him see. Let's, let's, see, let's see what he's going to do. I think that's the most prudent move. Sure, we're all in the dungeon. <laughs> Making sure you're all in my dungeon drinking your twinings tea. That would be a silly move to go here because we'll just take we'll take this and then he will walk here. Puzzle AI is too good if you ask me. Too good. Ooh! Rob, thank you so much. Thank you so much for two months. Rob, I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday as well. Thank you very, very much. And Inside Out Boy. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, the AI is unfortunately very good. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking we branch out this way. Yeah, because what's the worst that can happen? We might end up just trading. visualizing so I would take three here and then if he decided to make the jump I think this is positive I think this is a good idea I think I came out net positive on that. Right. Yes. That was what I wanted to happen. So now we need to make a choice. Which side do we jump from? Because we want to get these six. If we jump from over here, we would get, okay, he would get net four, so I'd come out two on top, I think. Yeah. If I jumped from, because you've got to assume that he's going to jump into where I jump from. So if I jump from here, he's going to slide in there and take the, so I have to give up basically whatever is adjacent to me maybe if i slid from there well, be giving... i would be giving up two there this might actually be the most beneficial slide from here into here so i would give up two two here and i would give up the one here as well because i would take that one 
I think, yeah. But I'm gonna get the six there. How interesting. How interesting. I. <laughs> now just thinking. So we lose. So if he slides in here, we lose two. But if he slides in here, we lose three. I think he still this wins. looks like another case of so. So close! Tim Horton's steep tea. Oh, can you get that to make it at home? He does always start with the advantage because he goes second, so he can react to our react to our moves. He seems to always do the fir same first move. Oh, different this time though. Maybe I make the first attack. That would be stupid though if I attacked him first. I don't know how I always let him get away with attacking me first. Be able to jump up. Yet somehow he always can. I should have slid that, I shouldn't have, um, it's fine. Concentrating because I don't want to have to. Uh, I don't want to have to do this again. Chad, Chad, what's your favorite kind of tea? Tea you drink, Chad? I know you're gonna say that's silly, Bash. I was luring him out there. I swear that's what I was doing. I think I give up too easily on areas. Maybe not. Maybe I'm alright. I had to get my brother to figure this one out for me. How long did it take your brother? That's the safest move. I swear he can always fly so far and I always I always get stuck so, stuck somewhere. I 
I'm gonna try this. That might that might seem silly. I don't think it was. I think that was very that was very high IQ of me. See, and then I go back into the spot. Ah. Music's quite fun. <laughs> I think I've made that spot too attractive for him not to go into. Yeah, I was hoping what I could do was dive out and then dive back in again. I think I made it too attractive though. I think this is better. Because he can slide into... Fair enough. Now he could get the three, but I think this was still a better move. He chose not to go. I think this is the move. I'd like to get in here, but this is not good. I'd like to pop down here and get this, uh, get these three, three, four. I'm gonna do the risky, risky, but we're on the back foot, so maybe risky will pay off. But yeah, that's what I expected him to do. So he takes the three. Now what does Badger do now? So we can either shore up our position here, take the... So we'd have four. Either way, I think he makes the... He'll make the jump into here, or he'll make the slide into here. I always seem to manage to get myself into such a pickle. We could just see what he does, like make a response to whatever he does, and... Okay, you did that one. Sure, sure, sure. I think that's actually better for me. Go here. Have a hive mind. Honestly, like, a Twitch plays of this would be great. <laughs> Have you guys play it instead? I come out on top. I think he's still gonna win. I think he had too much of a lead early on that I just... I'm not sure if I can really do anything about it. That would be silly of me. I've got to fill in the middle of this. Otherwise he would have just jumped in. something that might make you go, oh, Badger, you're such a silly sausage. I'm trying to lure him. He 
didn't get lured. I was trying to lure him into taking uh, taking these two, so that I could hop back into that space and then get all six of them. You can still probably win, maybe. I. I yeah, maybe I could if I. I would have to. I have to do something real sneaky if I wanted to win. just I would have to somehow lure him into jumping so that I could take more of his pieces maybe we try so he's going to want to jump into that place because it's a three. Oh. Okay. Uh, he did jump. <laughs> he did jump. Not with the uh, not with the piece I was really hoping for him to jump with. He's such a little shithead. only had a brain. Okay. Try number three. Lucky number three. this. I know he's going to jump and take the two. I think I fucked that. I think I fucked this whole area now. I, th I don't think that was a good idea. Maybe it was. It doesn't feel like it was a good idea. Honestly, not where I was expecting him to go. one over here to take this and he'll he'll have a piece that can jump to me I knew it I knew it see always has a piece to jump to me and I don't have a piece to jump to him ever and now he's gonna it's almost like he's an AI or something that just knows all the moves Frustrating. Uh, the reset button is down the bottom, but I just feel like a reset isn't gonna help me too. Oh. Sad. He always has a beat. Oh. All right, we'll try this. Take these. I know he's gonna take, take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that coming. Right. 
Does that put us in a better position? Oh. guys are supposed to say, yeah, that was much better. <laughs> that was the response I was hoping for. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. It's the same as the, if you remember the puzzle from the seventh guest. Can we politely clap in encouragement? That would be, that would actually be quite nice. So basically we're just, we're trying to, we're playing Splatoon. We've got to make the most of our board be our colour. Which is yellow. Stealth! Stout is Stealth your hero on your nish? jingle do you though do you I think this is best maybe yeah. now just switch your color to red and you've got <laughs> he's gonna go over there he'll get three I think I still come out on top there. Lead him to Kind of wasn't a good move for me not to lose loads of uh, loads of space. No, there's no cheat option. <laughs> Unfortunately, there isn't a cheat option for this one. I can't just put this in an anagram solver. I think I came out on top. I think I think that was an overall net positive for me. Maybe. It's kind of no net positive for me here because I move into if I moved into this space. He could just take all three of them. If I move into this space, he's just gonna take these three. Yeah, there's no positive move for me there. Most positive move is this? Yeah, because he can only take two. I like, I just feel, I feel like I'm trying to negate how much he can take rather than, you know, trying to win. I'm just trying to come out come out that he hasn't taken too much of my shit. Right. Maybe this is good. Yes. 
Yes, that was that was very good. Very very big claps. Big claps for me on that. <laughs> And then we do that, so that he can't take any more of them. He just always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Hyle! Oh, so much rain and so many accidents. No! Did any happen in front of you, Hyle? Or were they all just kind of, did you drive past them? Yeah, he's still got an absolute mahoosive lead, doesn't he? Do anything about this corner now. You're such a loser, Carl. I know I'm a loser, Snoop. I know I am. Okay, we're gonna go just, we're gonna go straight out. We're gonna go straight out. We're forging our path to the middle of the board. I don't care what Stealth is doing. This is my path to take. Right, what he wants to do is jump. I still don't think he's he's long enough. He is long enough to jump to me. Okay, he's long enough to jump to me. gonna jump here and take these two. I don't understand. Reporter baffled by logic. Film at 11. <laughs> I just don't know why he can always jump an obscene amount. Going back, keep just, just keep jumping. Right, you did the same thing you did last time. Hello? Is anybody home in there? Fred! Fred! A tile color of poop you decide! It's a bit of an, a bit of an orange poop. If your poop looks like that fuzzy. I feel like maybe, maybe a doctor. Ha ha ha! I got him! I got him! Yeah! <laughs> I got him! Okay. Right. Now where do we go? I can't jump to jump to the bottom. I won't wouldn't be able to. I can with this one, but I just I won't be able to make it to this. Yeah. Yeah, wait for him to attack and then make a mi and make a mistake now. Yeah. 
He's very clever though. Like very clever. Kind of got me, got me a little bit. But like there isn't a super clever place for me to go. Except maybe here? Like here do you think? Oh, you're thinking here. Yeah. Yeah, I think you guys are, yeah, you're right about that. I shouldn't have doubted you. Maybe a little trying. I think I go down in like a three. No, because you can make it there. Maybe I go up, straight up. I either. I think I perhaps want to go straight up. Mm -hmm. There's no way for me to really protect them though. Because it's not like I can make it over to him. The only way to maybe protect them is to... if I moved this out to here. Yeah, I was debating about maybe extending this round, but he can just jump to here, so you take it all out. So it's uh, it's like Splatoon, that you've got a, you want yellow to be taking up more of this space than red. If I were to jump here, I could take these two. So you take all adjacent, all adjacent tiles that are filled in by the opposite color. Uh, you can jump one square away, or you can uh, separate. So you can kind of cell, become a cell that separates out into two if you just move to the one next to you. tempted to move up because then he can only steal
I think we've got no choice but to engage <laughs> to engage him next round. We could possibly soften our losses a little bit. But then what do I gain by softening my losses, right? Because I, I, am, I am thinking about maybe jumping up here. So it separates those two cells out. So he has to pick one or the other to take. And then I can use the other to uh, essentially take back what he's taken. How about the three on the lower left? What here? Like, like to extend it down to here. He's just gonna jump into this square and take all three of them. Right? If I extended it out downwards. I can't attack. I don't think I can. I can only reach here. And I don't see any point in taking this one because he's just gonna take the two. I take one and then he take two. There's no, there's no place where I can, um... Oh, the other left. I see, I see, I see, I see what you mean. Uh, I can't jump that far. I could only jump to this one and I'm only going to be able to take one. So if you're thinking here, I can't, I can't jump that far. You can only jump one. Uh, I can only jump one here, which would be to attack this one, and then he's just going to take them both. And then here, I could, this is the only one that I could jump to here or here. So uh, my debate is, do I move this one up one? Split it, and then he has to decide. I think this is fine. I don't think this one's too Yeah, I like uh, I like this. Like, no. I think just filling this in makes sense as well. We have engaged the enemy. Enemy engaged. not get overexcited. I'm getting overexcited. Getting overexcited because we finally engaged the enemy. He's already fucked me over. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I've done okay. I'm debating about maybe going here. If I take three. I actually think yes. So you guys are gonna say no badger, don't do it, because then he's just gonna take these three. I know what he's gonna do if I take this one. I know he's gonna. He'd have a choice, I guess. 
I always oh, risky. No, it's not. He didn't do what I thought he was going to do. He did something completely different. See, the problem with going for the bigger numbers is that sometimes going for the bigger numbers puts me in a precarious situation. Like I'd really like to go up here, so I'd catch a, I'd catch a three. I think actually, maybe I do catch the three. Because then I can... Lady Badger Tale of Badgerington, may I invite you to a celebration of 12 solar months of Badgerington? Wow! Oh, the dashing gentleman from the local <laughs> militia will be in attendance, oh, will and they? Lady Suzu <laughs> will be entertaining the assembled masses with an adventurous <gasps> square dance. <laughs> thank you for a fun year, CBT will burn up. Excellent! Thank you so much! Thank you so much for 12 months, thank you for a fun year! <laughs> I'm imagining I'm um, in Jane Austen now. <laughs> Suzu would 100% be playing a poker with the old ladies at the poker table. <laughs> Pixels, thank you. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> she'd be stealing snacks and playing poker, that's what she'd be doing. I'm a little bit stuck now, if I'm honest, though. I don't want to move anything out of these 
no, I don't want to move anything out of these because he's just going to be able to take, 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 take. So it might be a benefit just to, um, because he can't get anything here. This is fine. Good music is good, isn't it? I think we maybe just try and gain the top. Maybe. Fuck him up, Badger. <laughs> Fuck him up. Clap, clap. Chad, I even clapped. <laughs> Chad, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Chad. It's sick. You've come just in time for your favorite kind of puzzle. You remember the puzzle from the lab in uh, Seventh Guest? Ah, Thief is, uh, Thief will be tomorrow. If we finish 11th hour, uh, we will start Thief 2. I mean, not start, we'll start playing Thief 2 after we finish 11th hour. But I'm not sure whether we will finish 11th hour. Now I'm starting to doubt it, I was very sure. But I'm, uh, <laughs> a little bit stuck on this puzzle. But Thief 2 will be tomorrow otherwise. <laughs> right, are we winning? I think we are. <laughs> I think we are, but honestly, I'm not sure. <laughs> honestly, I'm not entirely certain. <laughs> but maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Jump left. What, this one? Jump on the left. Only regain two. What are you thinking about jumping here? We'd have to we'd have to jump here from here. But don't forget, because he's multiplying, he gets the advantage that he doesn't lose one, whereas I lose. Does it? X-Men, what does it come with? How am I doing? Is that, I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. You know, obviously apart from the, the fun, the fun puzzles. <laughs> How's the game treating me badly? As always, it's treating me very, very badly. Uh. <laughs> As usual, game is very rude and treats me very badly. I think 
this is actually. Big brain. Yeah? Yeah? Because it stops this red from ever jumping out. It kind of secures my place in the top. Top right. Oh, did you post the link to X Men's Earth? Could you. Are you in the Discord? Did you put the link into it in the Discord? How was your, how's your day treated you, though, Sector? How's your day? How's your day treated you? <laughs> I think this is the. Did I? Because he's kind of in a winner's position here. We don't win a chicken dinner. Unless. win this one, right? I take I take that. Which is, you know, you're gonna be like eight badge, that isn't very much, because he's gonna jump here and he would take two. But if he jumps here and takes the two of them. No, he'd actually take three. That's fine. Take three. Uh, I would then jump here, I'd be then able to get one, two, three, four. I hate it when he doesn't do what I want him to do. So fucking rude. Now I'm kind of in a pee pee poo poo position, I think. enough my um the colonel's people people said the same thing he couldn't resist it he couldn't he could not resist the call Now we've secured the entire top. I'm not sure that he might still be uh might still be in the winning position. I'm not sure. Easy got compared to me. <sighs> yeah, I did lock myself in a little bit. I think I was just so worried about losing my pieces that I'd already got. I think... So I'm gonna... I'm not gonna bother doing anything up here because they're they're guaranteed mine at least for... At least, at least for now. Um, so we have only... We've only got a couple of choices of pieces that we can move out of this position. 
so we could move this one, in which case we capture three of those. But he would then capture three of mine and it puts him in a position to capture more, especially if he decides to jump up here. Uh, we could move this one. Could move this one and capture these two. We could also move this one and capture these three. Could move this one and capture these three, which only leaves two open. I think we do that. I'm gonna be confident. I'm gonna be strong, confident in my decisions that he didn't choose the say he didn't choose the thing that I was expecting to choose. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh... Would be nice if I could get it. I could get one in there. I could, because there's this one up there. But I think the most... That makes sense, right? So that he doesn't jump in there. But otherwise I'm just going to end up losing all of these. Right, 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 right. Oh, interesting stuff. Interesting! You would pick that! I think I've got... I think I got him on the ropes! I think I got... I think I do, actually. I think... Oh, I don't want to be too... Yeah, yeah. Gonna be able to move into my previous position, but I think he only gets four out of it. I'm thinking about maybe jumping this one here. Because I take three, he can only... Now's the perfect time to screw it up! You know, you're right, you're very right. I think this, this is the move. Especially if he's just going to do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever been so fucking tense in my life. So the really greedy thing would be to jump from, use this one to jump here. But if I, t I would then own all, I would own everything here. Would he even be able to jump to it though? Yeah, he would be able to, he'd be able to jump to the middle. No, 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 Big brain to do this. Possibly big brain.
You'll not find the next one oh, pleasant. Oh, yes! Yes? Yeah? The kick of dopamine. The kick of dopamine I got. The kick. Oh! My button. Who needs drugs when you have puzzles? <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for helping me out with that one as well. Instrument is sharp, but is missing its head. Thank you. I actually wanted to watch the. I actually wanted to watch the other game first one. Oh wow, they're playing the seventh guest. That's amazing. Samantha Ford? If you're selling anything, I'm not interested. Please go away. No, I just want to talk to you. About what? Eileen Wiley. <gasps> Hello. Are you still there? Who are you? My name is Robin Morales. I'm a producer for Case Unsolved, and I'm researching oh, a story Case Unsolved. The mansion. I was told that you were there the night Eileen Wiley lost her hand. Who told you that? Dr. Thornton. May I come in? Playing the seventh guest is due by manager. <laughs> yeah, personally, I played it by smashing my head up against the keyboard, but <laughs> each to their own, right? When I met my wife at a honey festival, I knew she was. What do you a want keeper. from me, Miss Morales? You were meant to Truth? be. Whatever that is. Order, thank I you. I want to so know what much. really happened the night you and Eileen Wiley went to the Stock Mansion. Everyone knows what happened. Eileen got her hand bitten off by a guard dog. Mm. Did you see it happen? Did you? I mean, I saw it happen and she got her hand stuck in the gate. You. So what? What are you hiding? Who do you think you are, anyway? Coming here from some moronic TV show speaking of the truth. You don't care about the truth. All you care about is ratings. Yeah, that's right. Now ain't that the truth. Wow. This looks like very interesting work. Look, I'm sorry, we've got off to a bad start. A bad start and a bad end. Please leave. Do you think the current rash of murders and disappearances are connected to the house? You do, don't you? Get out. I knew it. I'm on the right track. Leave now. Tell me what happened. No. Leave this poor lady alone! What happened to Eileen? Yeah, strangely It was a dog, room. a vicious dog. What about the two boys you followed there? She's just coding in a... <laughs> coding in a there. children's sports hall. What about you? You haven't walked since that night. Get out! Get out! Doggo's having a nice nap. It's been 20 years, Samantha. It's time you told the truth. Don't make, like if Samantha doesn't want to. She's gonna say wait. No, come back, wait. I'll tell you everything. Oh, okay. This is also what my office. <laughs> it reminds me of a. Uh, Big houses where they don't quite know what to do with all the space. Please don't hurt me. No, no more. I'm not gonna hurt you. Where's Eileen? <laughs> I don't know. She ran away and left me. I couldn't move. <laughs> That's her. It's all my fault. Okay, yeah, we got the guy with the body now. I think he was trying to touch the back of her head. I don't know why he's he's always he's always got to touch people. He's <laughs> I think that's just the kind of character he is though. 
Oh, he's putting his fingers where they don't belong. Remember, he kissed that other dead woman. Resident Evil Village. <laughs> I, I was gonna say all oh, that must have hurt, but I presume the person in the body bag is already dead. <laughs> I, presu I presume they're already dead, and it doesn't, kinda doesn't matter if he throws them around. Dead and very light. <laughs> Tamara, Moo, and Colk! Good morning, both of you. Happy Tuesday. Who is it? Samantha Ford. I've come to tell you the truth. If you're ready for it, come in. How long is this game? 11 hours. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Can I get you something? No, I just need to collect my thoughts. I have some wine. Would you like some? <laughs> I don't know if I wine is going to help her collect her thoughts. <laughs> I need to collect my thoughts. Well, do you want to get drunk? happened that terrible night 20 years ago there isn't a day that goes by that my mind isn't haunted by the memory everything that's happened since every breath I take is influenced by that night do you mind if I record this uh, no I don't mind Please, continue. Eileen and I went to the house to find Peter and Charlie, the two boys that supposedly disappeared. They were going to break into the Stoff Mansion, the, the so-called haunted house. Oh, I was a wild teenager. <laughs> Eileen didn't want to go with me, but I talked her into it. She did everything I did. Oh, God. What happened to her it was my fault. Do you want to stop? No. If I do, I don't know if I could start again. We... We were raped. Oh no, by those boys? No. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. We were... Raped by the house. So now you think I'm totally out of my mind? No, I... Yes, you do. Here's this crazy lady raving about how she was raped by a house. I... I don't know what to think. Think what you want. But I'll tell you, that house is not what it appears to be. It's a living thing. It's a house, or it's Henry Stolf, or it's some ungodly creature. It's impossible to explain, and impossible to believe, but I know what happened to me. But how? I don't know how. We were in the house, and suddenly I couldn't move. It was like some invisible thing were holding me. I couldn't see it, but I was in its grip. I could feel it all over me, touching me. I started screaming and Eileen got scared and ran. How did you 
get away? When it was finished with us, it just let us go. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dog. Somebody had a nightmare. I gotta lean to Dr. Thornton. You and Casey, come here. But the worst is out. yet to come. Whatever yes, it was, come... that thing. You're right. I became pregnant. We both did. Oh my god. Sorry, where is this going? I decided to have an abortion, but Eileen was afraid to go through with it. Oh, it was a back alley thing. It's okay. You've said enough. No. I have to finish this. You're okay. I got a very serious infection. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse the and it keeps escalating. See. I suffered irreparable nerve damage. I'm confined to a wheelchair. I can't imagine such Thank horror. Eileen lives the real horror. She gave birth to Marie. I'd rather spend my life in a wheelchair than have a child like that. She's Even always you look been shocked. evil. The bad seed, but hell itself has been unleashed since her 18th birthday. She's behind the violent happenings in this valley. Whatever evil thing that house is, she's its offspring. It's crazy. A house. Pure insanity, but it's the truth. Just ask Eileen. And she just leaves? She is just it stinks in here. Like that dead raccoon your father found in the basement. She just just She's like, okay, I'm done now. There's no like I can't print this. You trying to tell me something? Good chat, yeah, and I'm off now. Robin? Whoa. Now we got this lady, all right. You like it? <laughs> just a random yeah. shot of the mask as well. I would. I would, just for you. Thanks. So, there, there's there's a house baby a running around in your new play a satanic house baby am i right for the part jeez <laughs> you ask for know. this I'd be, mm. I'd be very grateful very grateful <laughs> what's the matter he's so rude as well you don't want me in your play <laughs> listen it's not that i don't want you in my play I know I'm right for the part. I could give you more. Um, you know, if you could just tell me where uh, Robin is. Who's Robin? What do you want with her? What's wrong with me? Please, take me out of here. Please, just a word from the wise. You. If a lady Before. asks you what's wrong Before. with her, you s don't it's don't just late. start laughing. <laughs> That's not the correct response to that question. Oh, we get more. Or information. I just spoke with Samantha Ford. So? She just told me the most unbelievable story. So don't believe it. House baby. May I have a cup of coffee? Sure. Tell me about house baby, please. So what's this story about? Two girls and a house is not <laughs> really lies. a house at all. These two girls got pregnant. One of them had an abortion which left her paralyzed. The other one had a daughter by the name of Marie, which, according to Samantha, is a worse fate than spending the rest of your life in a wheelchair. This house in the story is something that lives, something evil. And Marie is somehow the daughter of this evil. Don't say that. 
she's also behind all these horrific murders. Stop it. It's a lie. What is the rest of this fantastic story, Eileen? That's just what it is. It's a story. How could anybody believe such a thing? I, I don't know, so honestly. Sure. Samantha sure. has always had a good imagination. Is there any truth in what she says? No. All the music. What really happened to your hand? Got bitten off by a dog. I don't believe you. And I don't care. What is it about this house, Eileen? What's it really all about? Why don't you just go there yourself? You're afraid, aren't you? Well, she doesn't want a house baby either. Oh god, are we gonna find that there's a second house baby? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right well that was a that was a real whirlwind wasn't it guys that was a real whirlwind that was a that was a real whirlwind <laughs> house baby is an anagram for a type of flower oh my goodness that <laughs> Please, Missing its head. Missing the first letter? That's not... The instrument is not missing the first letter. Well then why the fuck did you say I, it was? Why did you... Hey Jonas, I... I'm... I'm... I'm confused and worried. <laughs> Child support must... <laughs> Oh dear. Take the S out of sharp. Okay. Who? Or? Oh, well, I shouldn't have that. We were gonna figure out what hour we were on because it is 11 hours. So I think we're on like 10 now. I'm very spooked. I am I am afraid, but for not the reasons you'd expect. Okay, we can now go in the doll room. Take the first letter away. No! Wait! Don't take the first letter away! <laughs> oh, doll room, doll room, doll room, doll room. Okay, there's no dolls in here. Blessed be the day! There is no dolls in the doll. Oh, there's a doll in the doll. It's only one, though. One doll. One doll. Afraid of buying your own house now? <laughs> what are you afraid more of? The mortgage payments? <laughs> there might be a house, baby. Imagine if I turned back and the doll wasn't there anymore. No, what is it? Oh, it's another chess puzzle. It's an... Lads, lads, it's an... It's another fucking chess puzzle. Is it easy? Oh. I'm just going to try and brute force it for a bit because I'm lazy.
I, I understand the premise. No, you can so the white and the black can't be on the same row or column. Which That's way the, should uh... I go now? <laughs> Which way should I go now? <laughs> Thank you. Which way should I go now? Oh, if I was a bit more patient, I could work it out. <laughs> I'm being impatient, I can tell. Uh, yeah, so the white and the black can't be on the same uh, row or column. So... Yeah, yeah, I'm just being impatient. I don't know. I know I shouldn't be. Mm. I'm impatient because uh, I spent so long on that stupid, yeah, stupid hex puzzle. All right, let's let me, let me start again. A lot of intermarriage in your family, see? stupid. See, that's the one where he calls my uh, calls me inbred. Yeah, we did finally get past the crunchy puzzle. We did finally get past the crunchy puzzle. Right. Da, 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 da. Kind of sounds like Sims music. Ba, da, 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 da. Pretty easy to swap the first two around. Um, but the problem with swapping the first two around. Maybe this is right. Are you not allowed to move it? Oh. Oh, I think I, I think I've got it. No. Yes. No. No. Don't. Do not have it. Thought I did. Oh, I thought I had it. that out like that and then all of them are stuck no except that one see where I'm heading with this oh, I, I could move that there Yeah, I feel I feel like I can taste it.
Oh. You got lucky that time. Look at time. that, that was a speed run. That was a speed run. I'm very proud of myself. Cheers. That was pretty quick. Yeah, it's incest Tuesdays. Every Tuesday. <laughs> same time, same place every Tuesday. Oh yeah, so we're looking for a hop. Just uh, if anyone spots one, shout hop! I don't think I see one. Speed run with a t you just a tiny, tiny detour. You know, you've got to enjoy the view, right? Yeah, possibly in the music room. Music room or possibly the library? Oh, I don't like- I didn't like how he walked out of that. That looked like it was going for a jump scare. Same time, same place, in same family. I remember when we were playing uh, Crusader Kings, we had the Oedipus family. And the family motto was, Inbred we trust. Luckily before bread's time, because that would have been a bit of... That might have been uh, misconstrued, right? This might be the kitchen? Oh! No, we're good. No? You telling me it's not the hot... Come on. Come on. Come on. Glad I... Is it maybe zoom in on the keys? Why is it like no uh 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 no uh uh? Is there a puzzle in this room maybe? It says there's a puzzle in here, right? Look, puzzle first. Surprised it's nothing to do with the piano. Why? Well, I mean, bread. We trusted in bread. I don't see the problem there, you know. There it is. Oh, we need One hop says to another, Ooh, You'd be too Christ. small to be a hop. The other says, What? You're calling me a liar. <laughs> oh, shit. You'd be so to the dead. So, so, you're calling me a dead. The dead will go. The dead will go. The dead will go. The dead will go. What? What? I don't know. You go. The dead will go. The dead Even if I even if I replayed him, he's not gonna do it again. He's uh yeah. they never <laughs> does the same thing twice. <laughs> what are the sounds of talking about silly sounds? Like he was just freestyling, okay. It's just freestyling. That's why inbred we trust. All oh, these sound effects are going to get irritating really quickly, aren't they? I wish it wasn't... <laughs> I don't know why I've got to be playing from this angle as well. Next Sorry. time. It's oh, <laughs> this 
same as that shitty train puzzle. So this is the button to move this item, and then an inch away from it is the quit button. Oh, same as the shitty train puzzle, it's fine. I'm not angry. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm not angry in the slightest. I don't remember how I got to where it was. I think I'm doing it the other way around, but that's also possibly fine. Thank you for the splendid clip. <laughs> it's uh, Goldridge's best rap battle he's ever done. There you go. I think that's right. Maybe I could move it one more down. Huh. I think I might have fucked it. Maybe it's fine. Where am I going with this? no reason to make these sound effects so realistic. Uh, I, so ideally, these would be swapped around. Okay. Yeah. I think something like this. Oh, dang. Oh, shit. Now that's in the wrong place. What do you call two birds stuck together? Now cries. <laughs> that's really good, Galax. Thank you very much. That's a pretty good one. I think I might actually have to start this one again. Reporter baffled by logic. Film at 11. He was like, I'm not being embarrassed again. Maybe he just left the mic on last time. Yeah, he was doing his TTS art sound thing and he just, he accidentally left the mic on. It happens to the best of us. the chairs together, I think. Okay, this looks much better. Much better looking. You reckon the one of the devs was just moving house and they were like, hang on, I know exactly where we can get some really good sound effects from. Don't worry, guys, we don't actually need to pay for our sound effects. We can get them free from my mood. Do, 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 cold. Do, 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 me, do, do, do. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Tearing up a bit. Beautiful tune. <laughs> Tester, these sounds are annoying. Dev, good, that's what we've got. The whole game. The whole game is the tester probably saying that this puzzle was really annoying. We should take it out of the game with the dev going, no. That's what we were aiming for. We were actually wanting to make the most irritating game ever in existence. 
If I just put this back exactly where it was. No. No, I wouldn't have done that. No, see? It's all fine. You're all out of here, but it's all fine. How am I going to move this table out of the way? Got myself into a bit of a pickle. Got myself into a little bit of a sticky wicket here. Ideally, we need to find a way to push the piano. To the side so we can get the table up. But the piano takes up two. Once again, I'm in a pickle. This looks oh, like nuts! another case unsolved. I wouldn't have been able to do it. That centimeter where I can. All right, right Thatcher. Let's just focus on getting this table on the other side. be able to push, push, push the table up. Why did it have to be some from a really awkward diagonal angle? Yeah, I think we absolutely have to put them there. Yeah, like this. We'll file them in like that. illustrate the art like we paid a lot of art we paid a lot of money to get the artists to draw this piano you've got to fully fully appreciate it I feel like I'm a bit I'm a bit perplexed I can't remember how I was getting started with Just put it back to the way it was. 
Stealth, stealth, baby. Banana, na 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 no, I think these silly sausages. Wah! Wah! Oh no, no! No, I'm right. There we go. No. Yes! Yeah! Yeah, that's that's right. That's that's no. No, no, no. Chair. Move that back. Move that back. Good, 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 good. 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 That can go there. Why are you doing that, Badger? You may ask. Uh, and to that I say, I am not entirely sure. <laughs> Maybe that is right. I feel like that's the only thing I can actually do. Oh. Yeah, okay. This seems tasty, doesn't it? This looks... Tasty. Well, what we're aiming to do is we're aiming to try and get this table up there. Carl. Why did you bad move? A bad move by Carl. But Carl can't do that much. Yeah, I don't wish to speak for Carl. Uh, but Carl's a little bit stuck. <laughs> Probably enough, I, uh, I get a feeling from Carl that he's actually a little bit stuck. Carl is an anagram. <laughs> Poor Carl. You know, he's just trying to be an asshole and everyone keeps being so. It's just how you're trying to be an asshole, you guys. <laughs> you guys are being so rude to him. These are in the same place, but better, better off. And a guy in a shop walk into a bar. The barman tells them to leave it. They go to Mina's. Oh my god, Otter! <laughs> I didn't understand a word he said! I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't understand a single word of that. Like, what are, what are meaners? Doesn't serve, like, mean people? Okay. That's fine, you can refuse service to whoever you like. You don't want to serve people who are mean to you, that's okay. Heckin' meaners. There we go. Okay.
This game's gonna give me wrinkles. <laughs> My brow is so furrowed. place than we were. But I'm still a uh, uh, bit uncertain. Got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> what was it that I had? <laughs> yeah. Every time my, the cursor turns into that beckoning hand at the corner, my eyes bug out. Just uh, look how much of the square that beckoning hand takes up. It's so silly. Hi, Doki, hi! Hi! Oh, she's peepooing. She's peeping. I feel like I just keep making the same moves over and over again. Looking for a corner to move yourself into and you're <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh. You could go. Yeah. I think the stream is moving. <laughs> I think so too. Okay. Now I'm doing something different. Now we are cooking with gas. As the kids say. Oh fuck, Susie, you farted in my way. Not that kind of fucking gas. It's when it really gets into the back of your throat because you don't realise it's there and then you really you take a big breath in. Turn on the fan. Oh, she's on the floor. <laughs> Hello, mother. I would like pets. <laughs> That's what she says when she fucks. I can smell the fart even here. Are you sure that wasn't wasn't one of yours, Herbal? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Up. Today, we come from a strange habitat, the Wookiee branch of Junkashi. 
Chew had bought far too much furniture this season, but at least it all matches since he is a big walking cop. <laughs> this furniture is quite nice. You know, I'm not here to neck the furniture. I mean, personally, I feel like it's a bit samey. Yeah, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna make a judgment, I don't know. It just feels. You know, I'd walk in this house and all the furniture's a little bit the same, you know. It all matches, but matches a bit too much. <laughs> Thank you. Didn't even bother trying to pronounce Kashyyyk. David Attenborough is like 96. He is, he's too old to be trying to pronounce the, these young and hip words. Hold on. Now what were you planning on doing, Badger? Now what? What was the what was the plan here, Badger? What was the plan? What do you do? What do you think you're gonna move there? Hmm? Well, I thought you don't you don't think you didn't. I feel like I'm just moving backwards. Is it because I am moving backwards? You got this probably. I guess it's <laughs> It's no excuse because she was in the sense. Do you think David um do you think David's watched uh watched Star Wars? I feel like it's possible. Channel my inner mover? Well, if I was channeling my inner mover, I'd be dropping half the stuff and scuffing it. <laughs> channel my inner mover, okay, I'll leave a gash on this table. Yeah, he was alive in the 70s, but, you know, who's to say whether he's seen it or not, you know? Okay. Now, maybe. I just, I've just done this. Oh my god. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe. I've got an idea. Hold on to your hats. Hold on to those hats. I hate this 
puzzle. I hate it! I hate it! I don't! I don't! I don't know what to do! I'm stuck! I want my mum to come pick me up! Maybe if we separate them like this? Okay, this is something different. This is something different. Is it? I feel like it's so ambiguous as well how big everything is. I'm not entirely sure how much space everything takes up. Whether it's a two. Or whether it's a one. Now what do you think you're going to do, Birch? Now what do you think? Hmm? Now you're stuck. How long should I hold on to the hat? It's a bit hard typing with that one. <laughs> Gotta hold on to the hat until I finish the puzzle. <laughs> I'm afraid them's the rules. Okay. Hi, baby. Hi. Table is two by one. No, I think it's two by two. I think it's I think it's two by two. Because it won't let me move it into a one. T uh, oh no, yeah, yeah, sorry. Piano is two by two by two. Sorry, table is two by one. That's how I feel, Suze. That's how I feel. Yeah, you you eat that guy. Not quite on camera, but she's having a. <laughs> you can just see him off camera, like, please help me. <laughs> it's like when Hitman kills someone just just out of the security camp. <laughs> He's being dragged back. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> How is House Baby? House Baby gave us the Skankai. <laughs> But uh, surprisingly enough, considering they're literally called House Baby, they are the least of our worries right now. We've gotten we. we I say we. I've gotten us us into a bit of a pickle. I just cannot get this stupid piano out of this place. I just. Okay, you know what? I've got an idea. I've got a different idea. I've got a different idea. I don't know what... No, never mind. What did I think was going to happen? I preferred the hex puzzle because at least the uh, sounds were a little bit less aggravating. <laughs> Then I have a problem of what to do now. Pull up that damn chair, don't slide it, it's bad for the furniture. Are you feeling bad for the furniture right now?
as if it would be that easy. It's men's wrap. It happens. Gonna lose my safety deposit with those floor scratches. I literally don't feel like I did that much. I feel like if anything this is a bit easier now. The music kind of sounds like Professor Late music which is nice. Yeah, we're trying to free the piano. I mean, the game hasn't told me what we're doing, but I just... <laughs> I decided that's what I was doing. Yeah, we're trying to free the piano. But as you can kind of see, the this guy's in the way, so we kind of have to get him up and around. Mm, he's in a bit of a sticky wicket again. Bit of a sticky wicket. Sticky wicket. Why am I doing this? You ask? I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, that beckoning hand. It's just so like it's so oh. it's so close to where I need to click. It's this fucking table. It's this table. Honestly, if I was if I was the mover, this table would accidentally fall off the moving truck. I swear to God. People flip incoming, literally. Okay, maybe I, maybe I was a little bit too forward. Maybe I was, a, I was too excited. All right, I was too excited at progress. Stop moving that, just move it backwards. Move it backwards. Okay. Put that back there. You don't like the sofas? I don't think they're that bad. They're not that ugly. I've seen uglier sofas. Can we have a rage emote? You've got a, uh, what is it? Um, CPT rude, which is uh, adjacent to rage. 
You've got, this is what I don't want to happen though. I don't want to be splitting up the... I don't want to be splitting up the chairs because then we end up in a sticky wicket again. <laughs> Are they sofas and not divans? What is a divan? I feel like I'm not fancy enough to know what a divan is. Is a divan a, a two-seater? Back, kind of back to square one a little bit. Not quite square one, maybe square three. Let's just try and move these down. Wow. I like how the, the, the seats have scary faces on the back of them as well. I feel like I need one of those. Oh, maybe. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe. Have we already tried this before? Is there anything that can move this? These two chairs. Okay, this is a little bit different. Right? <laughs> is this a bit different? Or am I just putting everything back where it was? Very angry at the moment. <laughs> I'm like five clicks away from thinking about using a wall through. Thinking about eating some pumpkins. Googling what the goal of the puzzle is. It's 100% to get this out. It's one, one gazillion, gazillion percent. I just... Everything takes up so much. Now, if these two were the other way around, the sofa and these chairs, maybe we'd have a bit of a bit of chance. How's torture going? Oh, it's great. I'm uh, I'm starting about thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking about repenting whatever crime I clearly committed to be a. <laughs> 
<laughs> never been tortured this way. Uh, how's your day going, Stealthy? How's... I would like to ask God what I have done to upset him so much. I've seen bird. Dinner's getting. Oh, what are you having? What are you having? Eleventh hour. Furniture puzzle. Might have incurred my wrath, the god of bread. Ooh, some homemade tandoori. Oh. Is it homemade by you, Stealthy? Furniture puzzle and music. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Well, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Right. Table down. <laughs> Apparently, it can start in different sequences. Hasn't that fun? <laughs> Down. Oh god, this is... <laughs> Down. Right. <laughs> Right. Ooh. Anonymous! <laughs> Thank you very much for gifting a sub to the God of Breadsticks! Thank you very much for gifting a sub to Bread's old and account bread. Out of the weenies, breadstick. <laughs> thank you very much, Anonymous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, S up. Which S? Left. Okay. Down, right. S down, down. Oh, this is through shit. Fun fact House hmm. Baby later went on to star as Dr. House's house on the hit TV show House. 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 <laughs> house. I, oh. I was gonna ask what their favorite kind of movie is, but I think you uh, I think you I think we already know. I think we already know what kind of music is their favorite. <laughs> Thank you so much, Fuzzy. Thank you. Let the game solve the puzzle for you. What's the button to let it solve what's the button for pu solve puzzle? <laughs> I don't is there a button? Is there a button for solve puzzle? Uh, S left. I think I'm... Still under the awful impression... That I'm gonna be able to do this. I can do it in the Game Boy thingy. Oh, can I? Oh, I feel like I'm close. <laughs> I feel like I'm close. Apparently, it looks like this puzzle is really difficult. Um, I can see all the different sequences. I'm gonna try it with the walkthrough first, just so I can get some some form of dopamine after I win. If I can even possibly get any form of dopamine. Up, up one, up one. Up one, please. Okay. Did I fuck it up already? I can't have fucked it up. No, I'm literally watching. Look, look at all through. There we go. To be fair, I'm now a. Uh, <laughs> I'm improvising. There you go. 
All right, we should be able to move the piano all the way down now. Now I should be improvising, should I? You guys are gonna get angry at me if I improvise. <laughs> you guys are gonna get angry if I just sit here and improvise. But alas, it's what I'm doing. Stop improvising. Move up. The second or third best game of all time. What's the first? What's the first best game of all time? All right, pee down. God, I'm I'm confused by the walkthrough. Not that I'm using a walkthrough. That would be cheating. Oh my God. Right, I see, I see, I see, I see. I do dun doodly diddly diddly do see. Doggy. Right, we're good. Who uses a walkthrough for this game? I know, right? It's so easy. Badger, I just ah. wanted to say how much I appreciate that you never have to cheat at these games. <laughs> By now, most streamers will be following a walkthrough, but not you. You just sit there looking to the side while thinking very hard about a solution and even proclaiming you're not and never would use a walkthrough, and you always seem to figure it out. Good job. CBT will burn love. Fuzzy, for you, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna drop the walkthrough. So, Fuzzy, if I fuck this up, it's your fault, alright? So, you know. Wow. Oh boy, do I hope this is right. I wouldn't know because I'm not looking at a walkthrough right now. Oh, well, that's wrong. That, okay, so for starters, we did that wrong. Okay. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, just switch around the chairs. So far up here. Tap out of the game. And across. Across. How am I supposed to click on this chair? That 
doesn't look good anymore, does it? At least the sea, yeah, at least the souls is nice, right? Chad, what's it? I feel like I'm right with the sofas up there. Okay, let me try with like this. I got it, I got it guys, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Like a turn back time. <laughs> if I could turn back time, I would find a way. I would cheat at this game. If I could turn back time. Now I'm looking at the guide. I think I might have done something wrong with the sofas. <laughs> Just judging by what the walkthrough is telling me to do, I, I, I clearly have done something exceedingly wrong with the. with the sofas. Just puzzle all over again. I can't believe I decided I would go out on my own. I can't believe I, that was the mistake. I was like, oh, I'm not a, I'm not someone who uses a walkthrough. I'm not, I'm not no cheating nerd. Okay, right. I'm not gonna. Okay, no walkthrough badge. No walk. No walkthrough. No walkthrough. No walkthrough. Not even peeping. I really want to peep, but okay. The chairs are in a different place now. Can I just ask, what, where, what, where am I clicking right now? I telling this chair to go left or up you say up well you're wrong I was cl clearly clicking for it to go left right oh my god please chair please please thank you
Okay, I got it. I... I think I got this. Oh my god! Please chat, just relax. Yeah, okay. Piano down! Piano down! Oh, this is gonna give me a fucking hot shot of dopamine. This is gonna give me this is gonna give me some good dopamine. Please chat, please. <gasps> Here, chat. Enjoy the lyrics to Scat Man. I'm the Scat Man. Ski by Debbie Dub Yoda Dub Dub. Curse you! Yoda Dub Dub. Ski by Debbie Dub Yoda Dub Dub. Yoda Dub Dub. I'm the Scat Man. Ski by Debbie Dub Yoda Dub Dub. Yoda Dub Dub. Ski by Debbie Dub Yoda Dub Dub. Yoda Dub Dub. Thank you. Thank you for the victory, uh, victory song. Thank you. For a moment, I thought I would live long enough to see this. Surprised David didn't try and expire during that. Thank you, Sec. Thank you, Fred. Just making sure. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Oh, we finally, finally have to save over. I hope people doesn't don't get confused over <laughs> confused with what Scatman means. Oh, I think that deserves another button one. <laughs> We don't have to hear the squeaky furniture. Are you sure you don't want to hear? Oop. 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 Is that not the answer? Oh. A defective truck with crane makes crane. a ball-busting ballet. Oh. So I've got two ideas. I've seen a truck with a crane and I've seen a ballet. I don't want to know whose balls staff is busting. You know, we can only hope that busting makes him feel good, you know? You think he's busting Carl's balls. Busting makes me feel good. Game to crash right before you got the piano out. I would have and that would have been the end of the stream for today. Right, doll room. Is this the way to the doll room? Is this the way to the, the doll room? Na 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 No none November. Do you think Carl's the kind of, kind of, does Carl look like the kind of person that would take part in No Nut November? Carl is all nut all the time. That's Keep true. on trucking, Carl! Did I actually get it right? No. Yeah. Uh, the ballet was over. That's, so there's this one. Oh, do I like busting yours, Carl? He is busting my nuts! <laughs> he just... <laughs> he heard us. <laughs> Stop dancing around the puzzle. All right, all right. Give me a hint then. Truck and crane. An anagram. Of course. Of course it's an anagram. It's always an anagram. The way the anagram, anagram, so fun. Thank you. Truck and crane. Nutcracker, because he's... Bust ball bust. Oh my god, that's he did actually mean to he wanted to bust me. Okay, we need a nutcracker. Where would you find a nutcracker? Is that a nutcracker? Nutcracker. Nutcracker. Maybe in the that's not a nutcracker. I am, I am a smart cookie bread, you're right. I got that all by myself. All by myself. And yeah, I'm really good at anagrams, I am. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really quick at them as well. You could almost say I can solve an anagram as quick as, as quick as I could type it. No, 
nuclear landlord. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. Is there a nutcracker downstairs? My mom has a collection of nutcrackers that she displays every Christmas. Oh, I do. I've. Equally, I want to ask about her nutcrackers because I'm genuinely nosy about them. But then I was gonna make I was gonna make a joke that oh, it's nice that she displays her thighs every Christmas because that's it. that's what first came into my head. But I also kind of want to know about the nutcrackers. I just <laughs> I also want to know about the nutcrackers. <laughs> like on a genuine. <laughs> Like, has she collected them since you were a kid? <laughs> oh, nuclear landlord. Welcome to, yeah, welcome to the weenies! How? How's your Wednesday? It's Tuesday. Going nuts. I was thinking maybe we could, uh, maybe we could call that a nutcracker. Didn't start until we moved out. I can do, you know, now you've, now you've said you don't mind. You can see that all, all the nutcracker jokes are filtering across my brain. <laughs> I don't make them. <laughs> my aunt used to have a few nutcrackers. Guys, <laughs> you just... What are you doing to me? Why have you got- why have you all got- <laughs> Why are you all collecting that crack? Oh, There's gotta be a decent nut cracker <laughs> Oh! I've got two nut crackers, lefty and righty! <laughs> Oh! Right, do you reckon they mean like a, a steel pair of nutcrackers or like a Christmas nutcrackers? Tuesday is trash and recycling day. Don't forget to put it out. Fog, I will see you in a bit. You have a wonderful meeting. Right, we gotta think of a, a really good D's, nu D's nutcracker joke. Mm -hmm. They're on the table. I mean they're on the table. Yeah, like an American nutcracker's different. I did I I didn't see Fog's mum on the on the table. Where? There? No. Isn't that sweet? Bread. I'll see you in a bit. Left. That not crack. That's not a nutcracker. They're bones. Ah, oh, no, the ballet wasn't right. Oh, you too. Yeah, okay. You meant the bone. That's all right then. You know, some people would often say the, the bones are next to the nutcrackers. But not I, because I'm not inappropriate like that. God, this conversation's just brought out the worst in me, hasn't it? Right, I'm gonna just... Start with letter N. Thank you, it's nutcracker. Aren't, uh, balls called nuts? Okay, it was worth, it was worth looking through the hints. It was worth looking the, through the hints just to hear us say that. If you bust something, it cracks. <laughs> it's a nutcracker. <sighs> Not busted. No, a nutcracker, Greg. I've never cracked a nut before. <laughs> well, November isn't the month to start. In the game room! 
Is there some nutcrackers? Oh yeah, because you eat, eat nuts while you play games, right? Mr. Paneer's sticky nut butter. Uh, I was looking over my uh, analytics for the year. And <laughs> did you know Wallace and Gromit is one of my <laughs> was one of my best performing games. <laughs> Wallace and Gromit was just <laughs> I don't know why. It was one of the best performing games. <laughs> Everyone wanted some of that sticky nut butter. This isn't the game room. It was one of the crime. <laughs> oh, nuts. I didn't mean to go down here. Oh. <laughs> Is Nutbuster going to be a new Captain Badgertail merch? Okay. Yeah, you had fun and there was name recognition of the characters. I think you're right. It was a lot of fun. That's a key. That's... Groovy try, but wrong. Was that a doll in the corridor? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a couple of dolls hiding in the corridors. Maybe over there on that table? Nope. Are you sure the Nutcracker is in this room? Or was it a guess? You sure it is? Okay. Like where's Wally, but for <laughs> for nuts. Okay, that's not a nutcracker. Do like a nutcracker something different in America? Do they like look? Do they look a bit different? Oh look, we've there. <laughs> something else is meeting the wrath of Doggy. <laughs> Straight for the crop. She always. Always goes straight for the crotch. Anything can crack nuts if you smash them hard enough. That you know, you're right. You're completely right. <laughs> she goes straight for the nuts. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking on it. Very cute. Very cute, doggy. Frustrated, I am hungry. When I, yeah, when you said, Is there a doll? Yeah, 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 I remember. I remember. Was that a nutcracker? <laughs> Was that a nutcracker? I don't think I can click stuff in the corridors, can I? No, that would have been a nutcracker. That is a nutcracker. It's, it's the nutcracker. How do I get to it? That's not the game room then, is it? Or did I? Yeah, I think it was here actually, right? Yeah. Like, I can't remember how I got through there. Can you please stop saying Nutcracker? No. I miss. <laughs> the corridor adjacent to the game room. <laughs> hey, Persecutor! Yes. Hello. Hey, sweet Marie. It's that time again. This soon? Come on, I just- Shut up. Just take this knife and get that TV producer. <laughs> Is she what? <laughs> you can't just pass a knife to someone and say, It's time again! It's time we go killing again! 
<laughs> he comes in from a hard day at work. And she's just standing there with a knife and she's like, Simon again! You know, it happens every Tuesday. It's that time again. It's time to go. Look <laughs> at time to go busting some nuts. Missing first misprinted label. What the? What the? There was a key, so we'll just we'll just try it. Use your eyes, dopey. That was. And thank you very much, Doomsday. Thank you very much for helping us with uh, with finding it. Even if I, even if I neg you a little bit for getting the room wrong. Label is an anagram of label. This is two clues. Oh, is it? Look at key missing first letter. I misprinted label. A mixed up word. E Y plus E B A L L equals eyeball. It was really a ball bust. <laughs> I got it. Same room. Same room. Disabled cutting edge. Okay. Disabled. Maybe the word itself? Lose the prefix to disabled. A paper? It's an anagram. The cutting edge is a blade. There's lots of blades in this house, though. I feel like they could have they could have just put cutting edge. They didn't need to. I feel like they made it more complicated. I'm wondering if there's like a shaver, razor maybe. You're not making the cut. That's Come. a razor. That's that's a sharp cutting edge. Just. We may be looking for some scissors. Like we could have just had cutting edge. And there was it didn't it didn't need to be an anagram. There was no reason for the anagram. Now no, no, a blade is a an anagram of abled. Guess the guy in the bath didn't make the cut. That's what you get for being a bean bather. Yeah, the razor was the solution to an earlier puzzle. I was kind of hoping they would double use it though. There are some rusty, uh, rusty blades in the kitchen. So maybe. Never gonna be able to play Scrabble Urban. <laughs> right, there's like, there's this. Do I put you on? bit aggressive. Oh, oh, do be careful. I, I simply must speak to the housekeeper about putting all these things away. Everyone who's watched uh, Deep Space Nine, doesn't this guy kind of sound like Garrick? Are you serious? Like, I, how many blades have I looked at? How many blades are there? The greater. I would not even. I'll see you later. You have a good rest of your Tuesday. Does sound a little bit like Garrick, eh? Let's have a look at the map. Check there's nothing uh, that's opened up to us. I'm thinking maybe a sword. Yeah, it's just a humble tailor. Ooh. I didn't look Bad at the grader. Move. We had a we had a different puzzle with the grader, so I'm I you know I will be very mad if they use it again. Garrick and Odo, oh yeah. Hello. Hey. Oh. 
he's a cute one. Yeah. A sword. I'm thinking like a big blade. Maybe down where the rat puzzle was. Oh, dang. <gasps> yeah, okay. Down where the rat puzzle was. Who's the cigar smoking guy? A... A rootin' tootin' cowboy. We, uh, we tried to... We tried to pick him for torso because he doesn't have a torso. Spoiler alert. That wasn't there. <laughs> That was not the puzzle. I'm hoping that Cowboy is an answer to the puzzle. I'm hoping I get to use him. Meow. Can you imagine if we're still playing this at Christmas? Oh, not the grown. We're gonna turn slowly around. Out we go. Dun, dun. Did someone say half of my name? I don't think I did. I might have done. Where did the piano go? Was there a, there a piano in there? There was a piano in there. I, I moved it out of the room, didn't I? That's where it must have gone. Uh, this is the sequel to Seventh Guest. The lesser known and much worse. <laughs> Would Jennings have made that mistake? Oh, is that a hint? <laughs> Please just let me see this. I was thinking maybe a scalpel. Ooh. Now, did you have problems with blocks as a child also? Did anyone actually play with blocks as a kid? Was that something anyone actually did or just something that the, uh... The cartoons let you believe? You... No! I played with the computer games. I also played with the computer games! Did you know that cowboys would tie lanterns to the saddles to help them find their way? Mm. It was an early form of satellite navigation. Urban, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You did play with blocks. I used to, um... Play with, you know, get their round thing in the round hole, but like not, not like, not like word blocks. Born in the last century, there were no computer games. I mean, I must have been, I don't know how old I was when I first got my computer game. I would play the Sesame Street computer games. Reporter baffled by logic. Film at 11. Maybe you should try horseshoes or hand grenades, perhaps. I kind of wish I'd, um, Wish I'd got into like connects. Is that what they're called? Like I was never a, a Lego kid or a like a building kid. And the triangle shape it goes into the square hole. I mean, it'll go in the circle hole if you ram it hard enough as well. Is there anything in this room? Well, it wasn't that sword, at least. There's swords in this room. I was more of oh I forget I forget when you go out of a room you're facing away from the room like as if you are really exiting it I was more of a, a plushy soft toy kind of uh, kind of kid I think that's the bathroom so we won't go in the bathroom we've already been in there whose room are we going into now Ed Knox or Martin. 
I don't think it's in Ed's room. I know Ed's room is the one with the flag and it's pretty empty. sword in this room. Naked lady. Mr. West. Can't believe I can't believe it. Hey. Boop out it pop up. Boop out it da da da. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Left or right? Let's go right. I don't know. What are you saying Mr. West? I didn't say, I didn't say that. Oh! What about guillotine blade? This one's a killer. Yeah? No. Play it again, Carl. Carl. That's the puzzle. <gasps> I got it! Oh, piss. It wasn't Halton. Yeah. It was the, uh, he was the magician, wasn't he? Hey, sweet Marie. I didn't mean to click it's on this one again. again. This soon? Come on, I just... Shut up. Just take this knife and get that TV producer. There we go. It was, a, it was a serrated knife, which I don't understand why it wasn't any of the other knives that we clicked on. If the answer was knife, how many knives did I find? Okay, that is, that's not a person's head. I'll feel really bad if there is someone there, but that doesn't, that. That looks more like a plushie or something. Unreasonable reason. Unreasonable is an anagram of? A reason. A motive? Motive is an anagram? Unreasonable. What? Nuts? Loco? Crazy? A crazy motive. So, like a car? A locomotive. Right. Great. <sighs> Natanarian. A locomotive. I'm just trying to think if I can think of any cars that we've seen. Yeah, an unreasonable, but I don't know, I feel like a crazy motive is a better clue than an unreasonable reason. I feel like maybe we could have skipped the first step. Oh yeah, it does sound like a train. Oh, let's go up to the train then, yeah, let's go up to the train. I was thinking, yeah, alright, I'll save that, I'll save it, and I'll let future Badger do that. But no, yeah, let's go with a, let's go, train sounds like a rain. When it rains, you get out your umbrella, which is an anagram of... Yeah, let's see if we can grab this train and see whether that is the answer. Hey! Paper used in unusual thesis. Thesis. What's that perspective? They really wanted you to feel like you were being run over by a train. They were like, you know what this game needs? <laughs> what, some sheets? Unusual thesis. Mixed up thesis? Mixed up thesis? It's some kind of paper. Thesis mixed up is sheets, but not sheets of paper in this case. There is actually oh my god, they're giving me they're giving me easy ones. It's like no, no 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 no. I know where there are some sheets, because we did have remember we looked at that lady sheets? Was it the lady sheet there was some the, there was some sheets that we looked at. Carl just laid on the ground and let the train just come straight at his straight at his nose. Sheet sounds like shit. Beep, 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 beep. Nope, not this one. Turn around. Why well, say papers is the first clue if it's got nothing to do with papers? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> just so you have a more fun looking around for some papers that don't actually exist. Okay, it's not this room. Different room. It might be Temple's room again. No, I don't think it... Right. Ah, it's this one. Hello, doggy. Hi! There we go. Do you want to see the sheets? Do you want to see the sheets? See them? Oh, do you want to see the, the movie? As I put my car in reverse, I thought to myself, this really takes me back. Oh my god. Right, you ready for a movie? feeding bodies to the house. Like, they're just like feeding it through its mouth hole. Am I inside? A droid holding a sharp instrument. Maybe, um, you know that movie with the house and the kids and the... You know, the, the house is being possessed by the wife. Do you know, you know the movie? It's kind of, it's a little bit creepy. It's, uh, I don't remember what it's called, actually. We, we, I, we always talk about it. Monster, Monster House. Yeah, Monster House. Exactly. Do you think it's one of those situations that the whole house is Stauf? And Stauf, they've got to feed him because, you know, he's a hungry lad. He's a hungry lad. He's a whole fucking house. So they have to just keep feeding him dead bodies. And do you reckon House Baby is doing it because that house is her dad? What do you think? Thought I wanted to go longer today. I would go longer if I thought we were anywhere close to finishing. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we're. I don't think we're really any any closer to finishing. Like I think that we've still got another stream in us. If I thought that we only had an hour left, maybe I would. Maybe I'd do it. Yeah, being a stinker. Beep boop. Only one more hour though. Is it actually only one more hour? Or is it one more in-game hour? I was at the end of hour ten. Hmm. Hmm. And then four hours of corporal cool <laughs> conspiracy theories. No, it won't be thief today, it'll be thief next week on Tuesday, but thief tomorrow as well. One more hour plus the chess puzzle, so four more hours. Four, four more hours? <laughs> Five more hours, maybe? Six more hours? Yeah, we'll put a pin in it for today. We'll play, uh, we'll play it next week on Tuesday, and we'll probably end up finishing it maybe two hours in, and we'll play some Thief afterwards. Hey? Okay. Yeah? Are you hungry? Am I hungry? I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. She's like, tell me about it, mother. Tell me, I'm also hungry. I'm always hungry. Even though I ate that fortune cookie this morning that I wasn't supposed to eat. Yes, I'm very hungry. Very, very hungry. Yeah? Hungry. Is it only one more puzzle? I'm thinking maybe we will finish it then. Oh, let me, let me have a think. 11th hour... Uh... Yeah, of course we are to the end. I'm not reading the walkthrough to find out what happens. I'm just reading to see how how close we are. Um. Ah, she did. Uh, she did wake up in the middle of the in the middle of the stream and from having a nightmare. Yeah, it does look like we only have one more. We are quite close to the edge. Go on. Go on in. Two puzzles. And the next one sucks a little bit. Okay, then I'll leave it till next week. <laughs> You're getting with less. Ah, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Yeah? Dude, 
I want till next week? I am quite hungry, sir. I think, uh... I think I'll be less cranky if we do it next week as well. Especially because if there's a, if I'm slightly hungry and then there's a, there's a difficult puzzle, I'm like 90%, 90%, like already cranky. Next puzzle's quite a fun one. Fun? Like fun fun or fun like 11th guest fun. Mm. <laughs> oh dear. No, I think we'll pick it. We'll pick it up on uh, we'll pick it up on uh, Tuesday. Yeah, we'll pick it up. Uh, we'll pick it up on Tuesday. Every second puzzle in this game sucks. Yeah, it's like they um. Yeah, it's like they had half really good puzzles and half really bad ones. They were like, oh, let's just like intersperse them so that <laughs> so that people, you know, they get a little hit of dopamine and then we shit on them. And then they get a little bit of dopamine, and then a little bit of shit. Yeah, I'll get hangry otherwise. I get hangry, and hangry badger is when I get salty. And salty badger is the one that rage quits the games. <laughs> and then what the fuck riddles? <laughs> sheets of paper, but I don't mean sheets. I mean sheets. Eh? So we have these horrible puzzles, but we can't just use them. We have, to, we have to find a way to sprinkle them in so people don't keep, you know, we don't want to stop them playing the game. So if they get a shit puzzle and a good puzzle, it gives them a bit of hope. I was a little, I was a bit salty yesterday. I was a little bit hangry as well, if I'm honest. If I'm honest, so Hitman bugged out and um, we, we couldn't do the mission because it had, it had bugged. So that irritated me because it wasn't, it's not a fun bug. It's not a fun, like a funny bug. Like, ha ha, look, you know, that guy over there just teleported. It, um, it's a, it's a frustrating, there's literally nothing I can do unless I want to replay three hours of game. So that irritated me. And on top of that, I was a bit hungry. <laughs> I was a bit hungry, so my temper is a lot shorter. So I was like, mm, fuck it. And I just, it, well, we were still at the end of stream, but I did rage quit. But I have gone back and I have done that mission now. I've done the mission. I did it last night and it took me, it took me like an hour. So it wasn't too bad. It was a lot quicker off stream than on stream. Yeah, a lot quicker off stream than on stream. And uh, when we get back to it on Friday, we will be kind of almost where we were when we left off. We're just in the in a in a bit of a different place. That's why we need a CBT rage or maybe a CBT salt. Oh, yeah. Being hangry makes me just so much more salty. And then there's house baby. And there's house baby. Always house baby. What is um? Is oh, you know what? Let's raid Frass. Frass has got a chicken on stream. I I do, I don't feel like there's any better any better reason to raid Frass other than the fact that he's got a chicken on stream. I yeah, let's raid Frass. I mean, there's a chicken. It's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of raw chicken. Right. Let's go, let's go read and press. Tomorrow we will be back with more retro with some Thief 2, playing Thief 2. And then on Friday, Hitman 3. Uh, Monday, Hitman 3. And then 11th, I don't have enough fingers, 11th hour <laughs> on Tuesday next week, we'll finish it up. And then we'll probably also play some Thief 2 after 11th hour if we finish it early. Oh, you gotta buy the new God of War sector. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. Oh, I hope it's. Oh, it should be. It shouldn't be too much of a fight, right? It should be all right. Oh, I think the last time I went out and bought a game IRL was maybe when Animal Crossing came out, like for, like first day. Let's uh, let's have a raid. Let's raid. Let's raid the chicken. Which probably doesn't help me with how hungry I am. I will see you guys later. I'll see you tomorrow, 1 p.m. I think Frass is currently massaging said chicken, so. <laughs> 
So that's great. That's great. There will only be a fight if they don't have any stock. Sex, I can't wait. I wanna I wanna hear all about your punch out. I wanna you make sure make sure you take pictures as well. Hi right, guys, I will see you tomorrow with an absolutely fantastic Tuesday. Don't get punched by sect if you're also going out to get God of War. Be safe. Be safe, wear your boxing gloves, and I will see you guys. See you all tomorrow. Bye! And everybody who's watching the mod, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you didn't get too frustrated at all the puzzles. And I'll see you in the see you in the next mod. Over, over there. There are mod over there, maybe. Over, over there, go look at the mod. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye!